went in there. Oh, I see people have been testing. Oh, sorry, that was me pressing lots of buttons. Okay, it's all right, <laughs> no worries, no worries. So, the first thing in terms of your characters is drop that thing on as suggested, and I think if everybody's playing one of the core, the emulator was put on later, so it isn't in the core list, but if you look in the classes, then, then um, in the SRD there, then I think... Uh, I think all the ones that people have suggested they're going to play are there. Right. Mm -hmm. And you, you just drop it into the class and it'll fill, pre-populate uh, your moves, including your specific moves for your, um, for your, <coughs> your character. How do I know which ones are specific for me? Um, so if you look at the druid, yeah. it will tell you what your starting moves are. Um, so, Born of the Soil, okay. it's actually in the SRD right here, you don't even have to believe Roll20. How do I? I'll look at the Druid. Oh, the Druid it. thing. So, Born of the Soil, By Nature Sustained, Spirit Tongue, Shapeshifter, Studied Essence. Are they in there? No. <laughs> okay, cracking. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so it hasn't, that's just, those are the, those are the, those moves there that you have are the absolute raw moves. Right. These are the ones that you have um, mm -hmm. Yeah, like hack and just as, as is, yeah. Well I can I can just drag in the other ones. Oh no. Can oh, you? I've just overwritten something. I can, but it just overwrote something. So you probably need to add. Yeah. Do add and then drag it onto the the added space. I just deleted it. one of them. I don't know what it was. <laughs> okay. Good. One of them is now born of the soil, but it wasn't a minute ago. So uh, did I miss a step though? I mean, uh, for now I just have the sheet that you made that says just wizard. Do I need what, what do I need to do just to get started? So, so, so oh, if you look at, right. so the first thing to do is you've got to set all your moves up. Okay. And if you open the if you open the class um, the wizard class uh, and the link you sent us before no you can just oh. do it for in, internally in the on the SRD on the that's in the you, you the, search oh, for your wizard yeah. and then you click on wizard rather than dragging it okay I did that yeah and then and then um, if you add add the moves in that you want. So basically, you want to add space in your moves on your character sheet. You can add the additional moves, and then you can just drag the things on. I think apparently. So um, let me just see. Um, so I I had halfling druid dragged in. Yeah. Which dragged it in, but when I dragged druid in, it did bring in the other things. Ah. Uh, so yeah. Okay. So drag. Don't drag the halfling bit. Drag the whole druid. I don't even know what. Or the, I'm or the whole wizard. I'm gonna search for druid originally. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. It's moves. It's a moves. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. So it's a yeah. It just means you get the. Oh, you, probably, no. so you might need to then move, drag the halfling move in as well. Yeah, I don't. I think I can only do one. Yeah, I can't do both. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, I did druid, and then I uh, and then I drew, dragged in halfling druid, and now I seem to have all of the things. So that's good. Okay. <laughs> so you did one after the other and got and got and got everything. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So there I've you go. I've got that's like good. twenty different moves now. So. Sorry, yeah. where are the where are the moves? I've, I've just I think you've got poison points. Poison is missing from mine. Okay, just drag that move in there. Just add it in and drag it in. Where do I find it? So yeah. in in the compendium. Yeah. And then and then you'll get and then you'll just go to compendium. It will show you classes. Yeah. Go into the classes. Yeah. Go into thief. Yeah. And scroll down. Yeah. Trap expert, trading of things, backstab, flexible, poisoner. Just drag poisoner. poisoner. Oh, right. Just, okay. So when I click on wizard, it opens a pop up, right? Yeah. And then okay. I have, for example, I'm an elf, which means I get. Um, so hang on, just bear with me a second, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll fill it in. Okay, right. Do it. We're getting started. So, um, ooh, 
Go into main. Oh, yeah, no, you're cool, yeah. You've so you've done it, correct? Yeah, sorry, what was your question? Uh, me? Yeah. Yeah, as an elf, I get detect magic as a cantrip. You get light, precision, and un oh, right, okay, yeah, okay. So can I also drag this there? Yeah, so you, you need to add it in. So you just need to add a, add in one like that on the use the add button. And okay. then drag it into there and it will go yellow and and you can just change it to be... Uh, hopefully you can then just change it to be right. It will probably put it in as a first level button. Hold on, let me try. Yeah. Graham's keyboard is always crazy. Oh yeah, uh, it worked. Yeah, and I can switch it to a rote. Okay. Yep. Good. That worked. Sorry, I must uh, earlier if someone said it. Um, so I, do we choose cleric? Uh, do we choose the class, or do we choose the class and the brackets? I think I believe you choose the class, and then if you add, if you add the, I would just add the, the class move as a one off because, I think what, what uh, Graham's done is added, uh, the moves in multiple times. Uh, see, when I drag cleric into class, it gives me a bunch of moves. But, yeah. uh, so should I do the race separately? Because there's also an option. Yeah, so, yeah, so just add, add um, hang on, let me just close a load of, loads of things open now, everybody. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Mm -hmm. So if you just add that move, like add a move and then go into cleric and drop the the... the the, the racial move onto that move, then it'll add it in. Okay, cool. I think I just deleted all the duplicates. Okay. Okay, so I got three level one spells as well, so I need to add those. Two, three. And then you should basically go through the thing Pick a name, pick a look. The hit points, just to clarify, is your... Uh, okay, I've got to tell you one thing first. There's a stat array that I've put in. A what, sorry? Um, put, there's a stat array. I'll put it in one more time in the, on the sidebar. In fact, I'll put it in here. 16, 15, 13, 12, 9, and 8. Yeah, I'll put it in here, though, because then people won't have the problem of, of it disappearing. And those are your stats. Why did you put it? In the in the dungeon fields. Oh, the Discord. Uh, okay. Discord just so that it doesn't disappear under people tests. Oh, okay, yeah. so we gotta pick those. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that'll give you your stats. And then um, if you go through the I think basically if you look through the class thing, it'll actually tell you what to do. It's pretty it's pretty sort of you know, pick the name, pick the look, pick the stats. Starting moves are done. Oh uh, yeah. Can I, can I be very manalo, or do I have to pick one of these? Uh, if you, if you, as somebody said, I, I heard somebody say today on a YouTube thing, if you're an advanced player, then you can pick your own name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that advanced. <laughs> <laughs> I am quite attached to Barry Manalo now. Yeah, I think you should right. then have to Barry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Barry for sure, exactly. It's very druidy. Choose one. and and quite and quite halflingy, I must say. I definitely have wild fool of a took. I have a question. There are some spells like invisibility that say touch an ally and nobody can see them. Can I do that on myself? Um, I would say that an ally suggests somebody else. Somebody else. Okay. Oh, no, sorry, you can make yourself invisible. Oh, what? <laughs> All the rules. <laughs> there are no um, what is this madness? So then the next thing you want to do is pick your light. Well, if there's any specific things, I'm, I don't know why I'm looking at Paladin. That's a pretty useless thing to look at, but uh, there's nobody's chosen that one. Let's pick one that everybody's chosen. So the next thing I was going to talk about and which I got sidetracked on was hit points. It's six plus your constitution. Well, it is for you. It depends on your class. Oh, so. yeah. And, and it is your constitution, not your constitution modifier. Ah, so if I okay. set my constitution to 15, 16, that will give me my maximum hit. Ah, right, okay. <coughs> yeah, I think, I'm not sure if it's set up because you dragged the druid in. Maybe if you set your constitution, you'll see. Uh, I don't know. It hasn't changed my hit point. 
Okay, well then you need to, to, to go in and do that. So six plus your actual constitution score rather than your modifier. Exactly, yeah. So you start with a sort of... So that unlike D&D, these characters start reasonably powerful, not super powerful, but reasonably powerful, but they don't have the same... Like, they, they don't go into the sort of godlike powers of 20th level characters. They don't get, like, you know, the shed load of hit points. But to be honest, I kind of... I'm not, I, yeah, I find the whole hit point thing a bit weird. Because you get more hit points, but then they just belt you for more damage anyway, so. <laughs> <coughs> and then if you scroll down further, you will find things like alignment that you can set. That's a good idea. Your gear, and that will tell you your load which is the amount you can carry, which is, again, your strength. And not, not your modifier, but your strength. Right, so, I think. Yeah. Uh, right. So, um, so I'm... I'm, modifier. Hang on. I'm you, you see, it's, you said it's easy to go through these, but when I click on looks, for example, it doesn't give me, like, a drop-down or anything. It's just, like... Of space for me to write. Yeah, if you if you look in that link that uh, um, three is sent, I, I wish I knew your real name, but you're still three to me. Uh, Steve. Steve. As Steve said, it, it, you can click on your class and just follow it through, and it talks what bits go in what. But it, but it's also in the right. in the compendium in the information box. You don't even have to leave roll twenty. That whole thing in the link is also repeated in the in the information, in the compendium. So you can open it up from from there, like it's down there, I don't. Is that the step one, step two, step three thing? So in the sidebar, you pick the information Oops. button and then yeah. it, it gives you the compendium and then it then they can go into classes and then open your, your cleric. Oh, right, it's on the class, okay. And then at the bottom of the class, if you roll down after the sort of name, look, stats, starting moves, and then it gets to alignment, gear, bonds, advanced moves. Don't have to watch. once you get to advanced moves, you're done. You don't don't get any advanced moves to start with. Those are the things that happen later on. Okay. And then the other thing that you need to, but I think it's already automatically set, is your base damage, which is so like a fighter would get a d10, a cleric gets a d6, a wizard gets a d4. Um, yeah, and so on and so forth. So max load, nine plus your strength, did you say? Oh, uh, hang on, I was just checking that. Mine is six plus my strength. Depends on your class. Yeah, depends on your class. I've, I've just added that I've got hide armor that gives me a base armor of one and a wooden shield that gives me plus one. But it hasn't updated my... Have you marked them as equipped? Oh. You click the little cross by the item. And where it says equipped, yeah, yeah. that oh, needs yeah, to yeah. be clicked. Not ah, yes. Then I have a two armor. Is that is that seem about right? Yes. So armor doesn't work the same. Armor comes off the damage. So it just it's a, it's a damage reduction. Okay. So every time you get hit, it's like the what do you call it? The feet arm or heavy armor. If you say so. Uh, two weight. Damage. Close. Oh, sorry. That. What you? What? Sorry. What are you asking? Uh, I'm adding in shillelagh into my gear. Mm -hmm. uh, and in in the in the roll twenty character sheet, there is a damage option. Now I know that it says up to 
popped up somewhere that I do a I'd be six. Mm-hmm. So do yep. I add do I add that? No, you don't need to add that. Because but you might have tags. They, might, they have tags. Weapons yeah, have close. Yeah. But Which is just the range. range. Right. Okay. You always do a D six damage unless the, you cast a spell or something that would add more damage. I think yeah. there's a there's a two handed. Where's the load? Would you put that or your inventory? Sorry. Where do you put your load or your inventory? In gear. Sorry. In the sub menu, gear. Ah, okay. Gearbox is load and max load. Okay. If you add in your things, each thing has a a weight associated. I think it might not be your full strength. I think that might be your modifier. Not sure. It's uh, well, my load is six plus my strength. Oh, your you full mean, strength. Oh, I don't, it just says six plus STR. Has it automatically filled it in? No. However, in my character sheet, STR is the modifier. Uh, okay, yeah, then that sounds right. But it should be the modifier, not the. So constitution is the full amount. SDR is the is the modifier. Okay. It makes sense. I think they um, don't want you to because the, the equipment is slightly different. So ammo, for example. Actually, you're right. It does say sorry. It does say plus constitution rather than plus con. But oh. yeah. So the modifier, or sorry, the the ammo, for example, just to show to say why it's so small. You get three ammo, and I might take some ammo away. For, you can keep firing weapons, but like then if you fail one on a volley. One of the things I can do is take some ammo away. So rather than having micromanagement of each arrow and oh, you collect the arrows and all that, that's done away with, and you just have <coughs> um, three three ammo. Makes do we do we assign the the scores you gave us um, on our own, or yeah? Okay, so as a as a cleric, wisdom, I guess, would be wisdom. Good. Probably a good choice. So I imagine. I have no idea. I just okay. decided that because constitution was my health, I'm going to be a fairly constitute. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's, the, the, if you wanted, if you wanted to have some idea, it's probably best just to quickly go through and have a look at the. So shapeshifters based on wisdom. Which is your key, your key. Um, I was going for de Dex first, but maybe I'll go for it. Yeah, three, if, if you wouldn't mind, could you tell me what Cleric should be good at? <laughs> I've just got so many things open. <laughs> uh, let me have a quick look at it. Your, so, Turn on Dead is Wisdom, Commune, uh, Thing. Cast a spells based on wisdom. Uh, pretty much awesome. wisdom. Wisdom okay. is the thing. Right. A, <coughs> just to recap, we've got a we've got a a bard. No, not a bard. Bollocks to that. <laughs> uh, a druid, a cleric, a wizard, and a thief. Is it? Yes. Okay, you've been very quiet. Could you do me a favour as well? Because I won't. I'm terrible at remembering. Could you change your names to be your characters? Because uh, you know you could put like a little note as well, like in brackets, like to indicate who the real person is. I'm just not cool about it. Oh yeah. Oh, I'll display names in old twenty. You mean? Yeah, yeah. Because it because I'm uh, that's kind of where I look for the names, and um, it's I think it's. They recommend, and I kind of like that you kind of try and use the character names rather than the. <laughs> One of my bonds is amazing. Am I allowed to tell people my bonds? You um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Um, so, what about wizards? What would you recommend for? Obviously, intelligence is the most important one, but after that. Uh, yeah. uh, I I think it, they're not. There's none of this madness in in uh, this game. It's. Mm -hmm. Up to you. Okay. You know. And between you, a dagger and a staff, you're, you're, you've got cast spell. Yeah. 
and bugger all else that needs a stat. So you choose. Okay. Um, by the way, in my move there was a bunch of stuff, so all my starting moves are there, but there's a bunch of extra ones like hack and slash, parlay. Yes, those, those are core ones. Okay. Th th those are, those are, um, and um, yeah, those are just what everybody can do. Anybody and everybody can do those. Okay. And weapons, they go also under gear? Yeah. Any recommendation between a dagger and a staff? Uh, none whatsoever. It makes no difference at all. Uh, well, um, this tag might make a difference. So, a, a dagger would be close, and probably a staff is near. I don't know. You'd have to look at the equipment. And, the, and, the, and that's... But it's all about the... Um, it's all about the narrative. So, yeah. if, you're, if you're pushed up against somebody, dagger's going to work well. If, if they're further away with a big two-handed sword, you'd rather have a staff. Yeah, got it. Marlon, what's your character's name? That's Drogar. 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 Uh, it's Durga. 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 <laughs> I used to work somebody called Durga. Work <laughs> with somebody called Durga. Exactly that spelling. Were they also a dwarf? No, he was quite tall, actually. Race. Half like. Halfling! <laughs> Do I have any of them? Oh, gods. Character creation. Alright, I think I'm, I think I'm good. I have no spells. That's, that's, that's cool. I right, got all this. Then we need to pick bonds, right? Yes, now the bonds... We should decide together, right? Or? You should decide between you, yeah. So, so the point is, and, and I've had mixed, I've had well, I've had limited success, but we'll do it anyway, just because it's a bit of fun. Because uh, I think people choose bonds and then don't ever fulfil them. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are one, there are means to get experience points. So just bear that in mind. Don't come up with any, certainly for this one shot, don't come up with anything too grand. Mine were mine were defined. All I had to do was fill in names. Yeah. But you have to agree with the other person that that's a bond that they want to have with you. <laughs> My first one is weasel smells more like prey than a hunter. <laughs> so, I decided to make that one up myself. Weasel is a, a thief. What what um, what uh, what race is weasel? He is human. <coughs> and. What 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 is it about weasel that makes you think he's more of a, a, a prey than a hunter? Well, it's the fact that he's always sneaking around. Sneaky, sneaky. That's what prey does. Why not it, get caught out? Is there a place to name your god? I don't see a box. No, just I'm sure there must be some free text on there, isn't there? I think there's. You could put it in notes, I guess. Yeah, notes in the sub tab of the end. So I'm going to. Oh, what layer am I on here? So I'm offering up some um, some tokens. To be honest, there's a there's a there's a you're a bit spoiled for wizard. What do you mean? What? That bottom right one looks like a thief to me. Yeah. Why are you seeing that? I'm putting them on the page. Are they? Ah, okay. Uh, just to the right of the map. Oh, okay. I can see. Shotgun on the shortest one. 
<laughs> well, I can, I can, I can adjust them. You're uh... What weapon do you use? My shillelagh. Something with a stick. Oi. Oh, I want to be the short one. See, so I can make... There you go. Boom! Sparkling. How about that? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what happening. Is, is, is there a little, a little fat man? <laughs> Uh, fat man, oh, I've got an, I've got a, there's a fat dude. Ah. Uh, I'm the wizard, we're here. Well, actually, hold on. There's a... You want that one? Wait, wait, no, because I didn't realize there's a few. I'm, I'm quite fine being the top left one, if no one has dibs on that. Yes. Let's have a look. Alright. Yeah, I think Graham, this... is that okay with you? This one's for me. I don't care which one you play. I'm not the DM. <laughs> <laughs> who, I mean, who are you though? Which oh, one I'm did the, you the choose? Short, I'm the small one down here. <laughs> oh, it's the lower one. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'll be the top left. You're happy with that one? Um, Barry, Man Barry Manilow. Yeah, you can call me Barry if it's easier. Who, who, which, who's the wizard? It's me. I'm it's who, Alp. sorry? It's me, Alp. Alp, Alp. ah, yeah. okay. What's your character name? Halweer. Halweer. Halweer, okay. Halweer. I'm going to pick a bond. <laughs> I'm going to pick a bond with you. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to change my I name. I have, but... have a con running. Do we? Okay, that's perfect because I have a, yes. a bond that's going to fit just right. Uh, you're <laughs> Weasel, right? Weasel is, Weasel, yeah. Weasel is woefully misinformed about the world. I will teach him all that I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay for you? But yeah, that's I'm, good. I'm going to change my name. I want something a bit more French. Um, <laughs> and what, what's the, um, what's the, what's the con that's happening? Well, um, Halweir distracts the victim with his magic while I pick the victim's pockets and then we share the loot. Is that a kind of a con? Or, I so. uh, or maybe I, uh, we convince them that something is happening and then when they're distracted, I rob them. I don't know. Something along those lines. Maybe. I kind of like the idea that my character has no idea that you're actually conning people. So you, what you're actually uh, doing yeah, is that would be better. you're actually telling me, oh, I think this guy is super interested in your vast knowledge. I was like, oh, really? And I, I just go talk to that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's the con. Yeah. It's and double level con. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and why do you think that um, Weasel is uh, not all there? And, um, you know, why do you need to, why, why do you need to educate him? What is it about him that, he thinks that he needs to to lie and um, and trick his way around getting what he wants when actually he just needs to uh, align himself with the world and things <laughs> and ask and things come to him. <laughs> and also he doesn't realize how smart I am and he, he needs to know that. <laughs> okay. Um... You should be able to edit your things to associate those tokens with your character. Uh, yeah, you should be. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, An Andy. Which one, Weasel? Which one yes. do you want? This, this um, one or this one? The second one, the one on the right. Okay. <clears throat> I need a better name. I'm thinking. Right. You should be able to. All you all should be able to move your we your your weasels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, move my weasel. You should, all be able to, you should all be able to move your uh, characters now. Sorry, it's Friday, it's been a long week. Uh, and, and now, the, the last 
thing that would be good is if you could just go into character sheet and and do um, edit. I don't have the ability to make this to my token. Uh, don't you? No. no, I think the DM does that. Okay, uh, Barry Menelo is you selected token. Whilst you do that, I'm going to leave. Okay. Again. <laughs> and um, Weasel. No, crap, I've got to do it on the character sheet. Yeah, edit. You selected token. Cool. And how we edit selected token. Durga. Okay, I'm changing my name. Be ready for it. <laughs> um, and then the other thing that if you would be so kind, oh, it doesn't matter, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, I don't care about that. So I am Pierre Olfier. Not the weirdest name now. Oh, my hit points are coming up. Yeah. Have you? What have you done? You're you're close to death. Uh -oh. Have I? Yeah, you are. You did, son. <laughs> oh, I've got a bar. I have 22s. I mean, I have health. I'm a healthy man. I have 12 hit points, so I'm gonna. It must have been the uh, nature's vibe. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, I think you've probably not filled in the again. I think Durga as well. Not got the need to fill in the uh, total as well. I did just now. Sorry, Durga, not you. Oh, sorry. There we go. Everybody's got a full set of. Hit points, and I can see if I'm about to kill you or not. And oh, handy. Yeah. did you say you're going to? I'm, oh, yeah, I'm okay. yet to get attached to uh, Barry Manilow. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Manilow has many brothers. <laughs> do we just uh, put our hit points, or do we put other things there? No, that's okay. The the yeah. rest is not required. Just the hit points is is absolutely sufficient. Okay. Um, so the other mechanism, I think we've already discussed, but I'll just mention it once more. Um, oh, sorry. We won't bother. It'll come out in the wash when we're playing. Okay, I just have one question. You mean we're not playing yet? About well, we're just doing character creation. Uh, question about, have fun. Uh, go on, go on. about uh, spells. So I got three level one spells, but I need to prepare them, or is it, is it three spells yeah, so, that I have prepared? So, um, I think it's two spells. I think you know three and compare two, but just let me check. The prepare spells moves. When you spend uninterrupted time an hour or so, quite contemplation on your spell book, you lose any spells you already prepared. Prepare new spells of your choice from your spell book whose total levels don't exceed your own level plus one. Prepare your cantrips, which never count against your limit. So you can prepare two spells. Okay. But obviously my cantrips are always available, right? They're always prepared. Okay. So, um, yeah. But uh, the way spells work, um, you can still lose them temporarily. Okay. And what's up with rituals? That's it. Almost sounds like an, I can whatever I can imagine I can do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But cool. I, then, then I get to choose to put. Uh, Sweet. Impediments or quests in your way to okay. make it uh, okay to make it as possible. Um, so, have you all done bonds? I know uh, Weasel and um, Halweir have got bonds. I changed my name, um, by the way. I'm not there yet. Oh, jeez. Here <laughs> you're looking. Perry, okay. <laughs> so, my full name is Pierre Olafier. <laughs> <laughs> Piero Le Pierre. Okay. But you can call me uh, Piero. Yeah, Piero, Berry, Weasel, and Durga. Can you change your name, Marlon? Because I, I don't want to have to reference the thing on the side all the time. Uh, I changed my name to Durga 
brackets Marlon slash LFN. Can you just go into the settings wheel and change it there as well? Sure. So that display I can name. display name so that I, I can. So remind me what classes do we have here? So I know there's a thief and there's a druid. Who's a druid? That's Barry Manilow. Yes. And then. To the earth in ways that you would not understand. And then Durga. What's your class again? Oh, you're a cleric. Dr Draga is a cleric, obviously. All right. So I need to pick uh, two more bonds. I'm going to say Durga is keeping an important secret for me. What would that be? Well, it's a secret. Uh, you are a wizard? Yep. Okay. Hmm. How many bonds do we need? Is it three? Can you just have one? Or is it at least one, I think, isn't it? Or is it? I think you have to have all three. At least. At least. Well, uh, or do you want us all to have three? If you can't think of three, then you can't think of three. I mean, it's not that right. important for a one shot, so. Oh, it, just, it, does add a bit. it does add sure, a bit. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to add a bond with Durga, and that is that uh, Durga knows incriminating details about me. <laughs> Why do I know everything? <laughs> well, you're the, right? wise, you're the yeah, wise that's, cleric. That's cool. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. Maybe your secret is that I'm being conned by <laughs> Weasel. <laughs> I, I, I saw you steal his spell book and uh, I'm going to call you Cloud. What's your in-game name? <laughs> Piero Lefier. Oh. Just Piero. Yeah, Piero. Pure. Yeah. Just look at the bottom and you can see everyone's names. Okay. Well, my screen is kind of jam full of boxes and windows. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my my secret about pure is that his uh, magic missile is uh, it's not it doesn't reach very far and it goes <laughs> it goes weak. How dare after you? After a couple of meters. <laughs> How dare you? I don't need to compensate Wizarding with my impotence. magic missiles. <laughs> right. Okay. My last bond is going to be I stole something from Barry Manilow. Okay. You, you did what, sorry? I stole something from you. What did you steal? Did you? Yes, exactly. I stole a um, a little ivory figurine that I found in his pocket. No. You know, technically, you could actually steal something from his actual inventory, from his starting equipment. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you stole Gerald. <coughs> I wonder where he's gone. And, and why was that figurine important to you? Why to is me. that? Why is that figurine important to you, Barry? Well, Gerald what's the goes, significance of it? Gerald goes a long way back in my family history. You see, he was he was found by my great 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 granddad, Barry Manilow the first, and uh, ever since then it's been passed down through the generations of my family. Nobody really knowing the significance, but always being an important part of our our, our, our family. Okay. I'm gonna guess that Switzerland just scored a point because people are screaming outside. What a point in what? Football. Point. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Probably. Ah. You don't want us both hitting golf. Did you say golf? No, I said football. Oh, <laughs> golf. <laughs> okay. It's also the golf championships. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I pick a last uh, bond as well with Barry. Uh, he, he will play an important role in the events to come. I have foreseen it. You know that. Do you want to know what it is? Yes, I do. What is your alignment, Barry, that's, that plays a role in that? I am good. Okay, that's what I thought. I you have to make sure that all the trees are planted correctly. You are going to decide to sacrifice yourself 
for a greater good. I'm not saying you're going to die. I'm just saying you're going to make that decision at some point. We'll see. <laughs> I have foreseen it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so, as, now does everybody have three bonds? Yes. I yes. Oh. No, sir. From other people. Then, I'm sure. slow, sorry. No worries. Are you including the ones that other people have about me? No, no. They get experience points for their bonds to oh, you. Then I only have one bond. Uh, all right. The, uh, the, in fact, the, uh, the spirits spoke to me of a great danger that follows Pierre. Oh. Mm -hmm. Maybe this has got something to do with the shit that he was just saying about fortune telling. I'm not a big believer in the, uh, the dark arts. So you're saying some spirits are following me? No. I didn't get that. <laughs> the spirit spoke to me mm. of a great danger that is surrounding you, follows you particularly. Maybe you will sacrifice yourself to save me. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Maybe you are the great danger. <laughs> And did the and did the spirits tell you any, anything about the nature of this danger as yet, or is it they did murky? Not. They, okay. just, they just told me about a great danger that follows. Yeah. Okay. They also, well, I mean, not them, but um, uh, as uh, spent uh, quite a while around uh, Drugger, he has um, he has helped me in many ways and tasted my blood, and I have tasted his. We are now bound by it. Okay. Uh, what's your in-game name, Graham? Barry Mamelo. <laughs> Barry for short. I'm gonna call you Barry. No, Barry. <laughs> it's, it's Barry. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, Barry, Pierre, and? Drago. Excuse me, it's Pierrot. <laughs> uh, weasel. Weasel. So. Weasel. <laughs> Shifty looking weasel. Yay, magic missile. You set up a fetch signal. Yeah. All right, I have three bonds. I don't know how they relate to XP, but I have three of them. <coughs> okay. So, Durga, I think that just leaves you with some bonds to do. Yeah, I just. I uh, finished them. Uh, Weasel has insulted my deity. I do not trust them. Uh, and then my fourth bond, uh, because it's the same person, um, I'm working on converting Weasel to my faith. Okay. <laughs> and then my second bond is uh, Barry is a good and faithful person. I trust them implicitly. And then Pierre is in constant danger. I will keep them safe. Oh, okay. sweet. Um, yes. Sure. Can you read out the ones that were related to me again? Yeah. <laughs> um, Barry is a good and faithful person. I trust them implicitly. Who? Barry. <laughs> <laughs> that's Barry. that's your name. Barry. <clears throat> Okay, we're not going beyond advanced moves, right? No. So, okay. um, that's good. Bonds are done. And um, I will uh, give you a very brief background on this city, although I don't think you need to know. To be honest, this is the city of Lazara. Mm -hmm. um, it's a uh, an ancient trading port bounded by by um, by gnomes or halflings, as they're called. Hey. Um, and um, just bear with me. Sorry, I'm just bring something. Up. Yes, it's a it's a great um, like trading port now, uh, run by a the Doge, who's elected by the the houses of Lazara, uh, currently the um, 
the doge of, of, of Lazara is the Hippolytus van Ring the third. Um, and it's a bustling port, and although it's founded by halflings, um, and it is in the uh, on the halfling island, um, it's uh, <coughs> by you know most like many humans, dwarves, uh, <coughs> occasional elves. Um, yeah, you know, a thriving centre of trade, and there's a kind of a renaissance here of um, the the the. Um, the gnomes are known for their um, for their their clockwork, their great works of clockwork, and uh, there's a there's a thriving um, centre here of of uh, steam engineers and clock clockwork makers um, and and other alchemists as well, uh, kind of a renaissance city. Um, the uh, kind of from here to here, this kind of area here, the sort of center of this area. <coughs> this is the upmarket part of town. This is a grand, yeah, grand buildings. Um, <coughs> sorry, my cold. Um, just <coughs> yeah, um, and um. This is where all the great, great houses keep their places. Um, then uh, this area here is the merchant's dock, um, the mercantile port, and uh, there's uh, sort of uh, many um, um, like the, there's the, the great, uh, the great basilica of the Four Winds, a, a large cathedral, sits here on the port edge and. Uh, where the sailors go for a blessing, and the um, yeah, the, uh, this building here that sits between the between that, that all of these areas. This area here is the administrative um, area with the with the with the, the fort <coughs> that defends the fort, and here there's the great library of the the, the great lighthouse, which acts as a library. Great Library of the Doge, the Lighthouse of the Doge, sorry. And this is the administrative area, and in the centre here is sort of the 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 Taffel Rond, which is the uh, which is the um, which is the, the sort of where the council, the council house. And this area here, uh, although it's kind of looks blank, this is a shanty town. It's absolutely heaving and rammed with people. This area is called the Narrows. And is uh, a dive where sailors of a more, um, shall we say, less less official type, Rome scumbags, scumbags, <laughs> scumbags. Into a scumbag, don't you know? Uh, yes, and that was a rather lengthy introduction for a place that I really isn't going to take any part. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, um, maybe we'll maybe we'll return if things go well and for an, for some other adventures. Um, I'm afraid normally I'd kind of um, do give you a bit more free reign, but um, I'm kind of going to railroad you a bit on this one um, yeah. today. Um, uh, I don't know if you saw on the main page, but there was a you find a. So the four of you are in town, you know each other well, you have various friendships or frenemy ships, I don't know, <laughs> uh, from, um, from days gone by. And um, you're, you're here, I guess, in search of some coin. Um, and you see a, a, a poster that says... Uh, Man of means seeks assistance in matter of delicacy. Discretion require. Ask at the fouled anchor. Good pay offered. And the fouled anchor is um, here. No. In the edge of the narrows. Discretion is my middle name. So, and good pay. You've only got one name. 
Well, that's my nickname. <laughs> Discretion's my actual name. <laughs> oh, well, this sounds like an ideal opportunity for us to uh, earn some money and perhaps uh, rip some people off. I suppose if money is what you're driven by, then we could uh, go and have a look, I suppose. But guys, uh, there's a new collection of books uh, in, in the library. I would like to check it out. Ah, but with all that money, buy as many books as you like. To be honest, I think I'd rather go to the pub than the library. Fair yeah, let's go to the pub. There are less children in the, uh, in the pub normally. <laughs> oh, anchor. Fair point right. about the coin, very well. I, I, I agree with Barry. We should have a drink. Yeah, do with a drink. It's been a day. Okay, so you make your way to the... Um, to the fouled anchor, you have no problem finding it, and as you open the door, uh, you are hit by a, a wall of noise, of you know, uh, vigorous carousing going on. The the pipe weed smoke pours out of the door as you open it. Uh, There's a strong smell of sweat and and uh, sea salt. Um, numerous. Uh, Serving wenches are uh, running around with with large uh, flagons of grog. The men are the men are busy gambling and um, arm wrestling. Uh, the, the, it's a rough and ready place with bare wooden floors and simple stools and tables. Sounds good. Well, uh, grab us oh, a before table. We, before we go in, is it possible I could turn into a dog? <laughs> I'll try to turn to you. You can. That's, uh, that's a very good idea. Well, I don't know. Is it a very good idea? It's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I, am, I like to shapeshift. I have a thing. Do I press the button? Okay. I press the button. You Just do. How, 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 how does your shapeshift... Um, how does your shapeshift um, manifest itself? Well, if you've ever seen the program Animorphs, I kind of just like jump forward and, and into the dog form. Okay. Like McGonagall turning into a cat. Yes, exactly like McGonagall <laughs> turning into a cat. Okay. Uh, so, you, you, as you, just about as you approach the door, um, Barry transforms into a dog and you will roll your eyes at the uh, <laughs> not again. Yeah. And, um, so you um, you open the door and enter, and as you walk in, uh, uh, the the place goes silent, and the barman bellows, "Oi! No fucking dogs! <laughs> <laughs> Get it out before I skin it and eat it!" Yes, yes. I knew that was going to happen. I want to just sort of run up to the uh, to the, the bartender and, and give him the best puppy dog eyes I can muster. <laughs> <laughs> like a uh, puss in the boots type of... Yeah, but with a big lolling tongue. <laughs> and I shout out, Shep, Shep, get back here. Give, give Leave the man alone. I'm so sorry about this dog. Give, oh, take give, him out. Take him outside. Parlay. He's always doing this. He's only being friendly. Don't worry. I'm not going to bite you. Give me a parlay for the, for the rolling eyes. Uh, parlay. Yeah, That's it should be on. Thing. Oh, the mate. Yeah, uh, okay. He kind of mellows a little bit um, and he says, uh, Oh, all right, you can put it out in the stable. <laughs> That's a perfect place for it. What do you do? Shoot. Come on, Shep. Shoot. Get out of there, come on. To the stables. Take, Shoot. Take him outside to the, to the stables where he can. Change back to the normal. I should probably person. change back at this point. <coughs> no, not in a pub though. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I mean, well, maybe in a pub. No, that will cause <laughs> a bit of a commotion. <laughs> yeah, so we take him out to the stables, and then could we say that every time you transform into an animal and back, you, you your clothes don't transform with you, so you're usually naked <laughs> afterward, <laughs> and often you forget that. <laughs> 
afraid, Piero. I am well practiced in the art of shape shifting. Do not need your condescension telling me how to do my business. Ah, oh, that would have been fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> I had a character who did that. <laughs> He used to he used to vomit up the the next creature. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um Yeah, so what do you do? Uh, I'm gonna turn back into to to Daring Hanalai. Okay. And we'll head back in through the through the front door again. Okay. And we did the note say who we were looking for, or just said inquire within. Yes, inquire within, I believe, was the word. Okay. Oh, were we actually meant to come here? Yeah. yeah. Yes. All oh, right. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll sidle up to the bar. I was just going for a drink. Uh, order some drinks, and we'll mention okay. that we're Definitely. here in response to the advert for work. Um, Bob, Bob had stood at the bar with the, the tea towel, wiping away at the glass, and he sees a mark on it, splits into it, wipes, stops wiping again. What can I do you for, sirs? <laughs> <laughs> uh, four flagons of mead, please. Can we have a, a clean glass? Mead? Please? Mead? Got any oh, mead? <laughs> we can do you grog. Grog is then. What? Go on, why not? Might have some ale out back. Do you have any tea? <laughs> Roll my eyes again. <laughs> yeah, I, I can make you a tea. Fat chance. Yeah, bring on the grog. We'll have some of that. We've got... We're, uh, Do we have money, actually? actually to, uh, I've got some money. <laughs> Not, nice looking dog, that, by the way. I'll give you uh, three gold for it. It's yeah, yours. Right, we've left him tied <laughs> up in a stable for you. All right, uh, I'll have to check it out. Make, right. make sure it's good and uh, and uh, and meaty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit lean, to be honest. It's a bit scrawny. That's all right. It's a lot like a like, like a bit of meat in there, stew. A bit chewy, probably, but you know. You can't cook an animal, <coughs> eat it. How disgusting! <laughs> what's wrong with what's wrong with plants and vegetables? Yeah, I'm sure they're right for some people, Governor. It's very good with bacon on top. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no manners whatsoever. I love a good apple with some I bacon on top. Like it. below the level of the bar. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. He puts he puts four four mugs down, pours pours uh, grog into them all, hands three to 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 to. to, to to you and then to uh, Barry, he, he hands it to you. There you go, lovely tea. <laughs> Do I recognise this the BT? <laughs> no, he <laughs> put it out exactly the same bottle. Oh, <laughs> yes, uh, thank you. I don't suppose you have wine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can do your wine, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> So, listen, we're looking for this job. Uh, there's a um, job paying good money for people of discretion. Oh, yeah, that's You know what I mean? I give them a wink and I kind of tap my nose in a discretion <laughs> kind of way. Talking about that knob Jonathan Treehorn, are you? Sat in the corner there, moping again. Treehorn? What an interesting name. Jonathan Treehorn. Yeah. I take it you don't like him very much, then? What's, he, what's wrong well, with he's, him? He's a knob, isn't he? In what way? <laughs> well, you know, he's a knob. He's a lord. His lordship. His lord. Oh, one of those, is he? He's a he's a biscuit or a or a a, a duchy or something like that. I, I can't remember. Fact if I know. <laughs> what would the lord be oh, doing so here? Well. Better go and have a word with him then. And thanks for the tip off. That he's a bit of a knob. No worries, mate. Oh, remember, your, remember your barman when you pay for your drinks, eh? Yeah, will do. Pay for this swill? <coughs> no, you can get a punch in the face if you like. Well, maybe we'll discuss this a bit later. <laughs> We're 
anytime, anytime, mate. <laughs> I feel like I need a squeakier voice. <laughs> <laughs> so this chap, Jonathan Treehorn, sat in the corner, moping yeah, about. You see What's him. What's he look like? He look. He's kind of um, thin. He seems to be wearing. It looks slightly out of place in this place. Most people are kind of either kind of bare chested or wearing like the kind of the light cotton blouse of sailor types. He seems to be wearing kind of um, <coughs> um, more kind of regal clothing um, okay. or sort of fancy clothing. Um, give me a discern realities. All of us, or? Wisdom. No, um. Regal. Okay. Um. You don't get to ask me any questions. No. But the better. Yeah. So he looks, he looks like a, yeah. Slightly out of place in this place and, and qu quite overdressed, mate. Wealthy overdressed. He looks, he looks dejected. Yeah, yeah. From what you can see, yes. Yeah. Dejected. Uh, I just kind of looking over. He's, he's staring into a deal later. He's he's stare, he's, stare, he's, stare, he's uh, staring into a, a small jug of mo of of, gro of grog. Okay, I'm actually um, well dressed too. Is so. able for us to sit down. If we just kind of went and sat over by him. Uh, let's just try and talk to him. Yeah, and since I'm well dressed, I'll I say, "Wow, that is." Yeah. Uh, a pleasant sight compared to the rest of the of the crowd here. Pleasure to see someone with a, a, a certain standard for style. Oh well, well um, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, likewise, pleased to meet you. Hello, my name is uh, Piro Lefir. You can call me Piro. And um, I'd, I'd offer you a gentleman a drink, but um, yes, I. Uh, not in a situation where I can do that just at the moment. And that's fine. We have our drinks already. Um, we found this little note um, in town. Is this uh, related to you? Ah, so you are uh, your adventurer. He, he kind of takes a minute and looks at you all over and says, "Yes, yes, I think you will be uh, ideal for my means. We should uh, we should retire to my room." Uh, Many uh, many years here would um, would not be a good idea to overhear this uh, business. Uh, if you uh, gentlemen will uh, follow me. All right. Does he look suspicious? Or... Um, he uh, he does not look suspicious. No. Okay. I've realised I've got a map that I can use. <gasps> I love maps. So as we as we making our way through the uh, crowded bar can i uh maybe pick a pocket um can so you can before just drop your tokens on and see whether that works uh, yes it does sweet uh, oh bollocks where's mine bollocks. drag your from your character sheet I'm yeah sorry. it doesn't matter forget oh, it oh yeah sorry what do you mean doesn't matter forget it. uh it doesn't take the i'll have to redo everything oh yeah it doesn't Keep your health and oh, stuff like that. Uh, uh, there is a. Uh, I know how to do that. I know how to do that. I know how to do that. <laughs> if you, yeah, there is a there is an easy solution to that. If we go back to the other map, if you okay. do the thing that you did where you click on the token and add it to the currency sheet, but do it after you've added all the AC and the HP stuff. Oh uh, yeah, it keeps all the stuff. stuff. It will keep it all in the token. I recently found it out. But <laughs> there we go. Oh. Ah, there I am. And you're twice now. Me. Which one do I like more? <laughs> the, 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 hang on. That one's got to go. That one's got to go. Anybody else? Oh, there I am. The one with the bar. Oh, wow, you did that really quick. Is that everybody? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Because <laughs> we all look like FPC. <laughs> okay. I tell you what. Can you just put um, l like coloured tokens on? Can we Where's do the what? Like the, the little dots, like. Where's the oh, guy yeah, yeah. in the uh, in the in, in the? Who are we talking to? Ah, uh, this this is this would be. I'll mark him to make a difference. I can't do the wrong thing again. Is this one of the isometric maps you bought? Yeah. Nice. 
That's really cool. Yeah, they're really awesome. I'll show you after the game um, one on that one I I Maybe you should like chuck them in the box. Did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do. I think I did offer. I think cool. Do we have a drop box? Uh, uh, this is on the uh, on the YouTube on the Twitch. Um, I'll say no, I couldn't do that, you have to pay for it. Yeah, well, that's yeah. fair. I'll <laughs> 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 But check anyway. I, I just made a pound on Grove and having a fight, so I'll <laughs> stuff. I think I should get a <coughs> I haven't been paid yet, but no, we'll see. <laughs> there we go. So red is red is the party. Oh, I know. Am I able to pick a pocket as I move through the bar? Um you may attempt to do so. It's uh just it's the train what you it's quite a uh, rough looking place. You don't think they would be inclined to um, inclined to uh, your 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 feeling is that a lot of these people would rather cut your throat than 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 spit in your face. So. Maybe I'll Ooh, change. Can I? Can I, 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 I oh, what? Well, I'll I'll can, can, can I aid him or interfere? Can I interfere in his attempt to? Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. I don't okay. want to get us killed. I was right just going to say. I, I recognize the the look in the eyes. This little glint. In the eyes of Weasel and say, Weasel, not here. Weasel. Only, or maybe on the way out if you prefer. Yes. <laughs> okay. No, maybe you're right. Leave it for now. Don't get killed straight away. So we follow this guy upstairs to his room? Yep. And. Um, um, fast uh, Actually, I just did it on the fly. Super. Don't really need to do this either, but. I bought the bloody things. Gonna have to use them. Good. <laughs> Do it. Oh, oh, there's a little room. Oh, look at that. There's a little room. A little pop room. Got to oh. delete you now. Oh. Put, put it on the wrong. Put it on the wrong bloody layer. Can't have you. Uh, sorry. You can right click and turn it to a different layer. Probably. Could I could have done that? I, I do know that, but I had a bit of a brain fart. There we go, I'll make it a bit large because otherwise you'll be. I am quite small. Oh, look, there it is. I'm going to hop onto the uh, to the treasure chest. Ooh, that's good. Just to get the people in the right place. That'll do. Okay. Yes, and he turns to face you. And says, <coughs> "Gentlemen, uh, I'm most distressed. Um, I'm the Viscount Treehorn, and um, oh, uh, Isabel, the uh, one of the barmaids that worked here. She's 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 the love of my life, but." She's been kidnapped, and uh, they, they demand a ransom of 500 coin. Um, I uh, I need um, some stout and reliable fellows such as yourselves to um, to help me deliver it. I have uh, to take it to a small island in the next day or two, and um, and uh, meet them there. And I need protection along the way. Obviously, this is why I've brought you here, to uh, to avoid being overheard. Such an amount would uh, certainly get my throat slit in them. Certainly would. Do you have that on you now? <laughs> um, I, I, have, I have it uh, available, indeed. Are you, are you sure you don't want to just leave this woman to her suffering. Uh, no, my God, no. <laughs> Isabel, she's, she's so beautiful and so erudite. But the Lord Bleak has taught us that suffering is good and uh, sacred. Perhaps she will learn a thing or two in this state. I'll give Durga a look that says, not now. <laughs> <laughs> leave it. So um, if we if we were to help, 
help you? What, what would the... Uh, I could uh, offer you 50 coin, uh, and, of course, you would have the, uh, have the, uh, the ear of the Viscount of Viscount Treehorn. That sounds good, but I thought she was a bit worth more to you than 50 gold coins. Is she not? She's worth everything, but um, as you understand, I have a, a cash flow situation at present. Uh, perhaps I could uh, pay you uh, more at a later date. I've had to raise the, um, the, uh, the coin for the ransom. Uh, not a, not a simple task, uh, even for one uh, of, of my means. Um, so I you could uh, pay you um, fifty coin now and a um, uh, hundred in um, two months' time. Does it seem to be telling the truth? Uh, try to discern realities. Uh, okay. What are the rolls again? Like, do I need to roll a six to find something? Or, well, by the way, who, those that have rolled, um, so Weasel and Piero, you both uh, receive an experience point. Uh huh. Or your miserable yeah. failures to discern anything. Okay. Excellent. Wonderful. Yes, I believe him. Let's uh, let's do it, guys. What do you think? Yes, I think that's uh, that's not a bad. Amount of money actually, fifty now and a hundred in two months' time. I think that's reasonable for our expert services. I take, I hold an empty bag out. I open, I, I bring a little pouch and I open it for in front of him for him to drop some coins. There's some little magical dust that comes out of it like this. <coughs> he says, "Yes, yes, I, I'll, I'll pay you at the uh, at the at the um, at the dock." We'll meet there in two in a, a day's time, first thing for the tide. Oh, I see. I would have preferred if you paid us now because we need to do some preparations and we will need to spend some indeed, coin. Indeed, indeed. but uh, I, I don't know if you've seen the patrons downstairs, but... Uh, <laughs> I think that's a fair point. Do you have gardens where you live? Um, the... Uh, the uh, the Treehorn uh, Manor is uh, is is very beautiful. I recommend you see it. Um, I'd love to. What sort of flowers <coughs> do you have? Uh, oh well, um, pink ones and white ones and blue ones. Um, I see. A <laughs> man who knows lots about flowers. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. Some some of them smell rather exquisitely. Yes, well, often this nature thing, they, they, they do smell the best, unlike this, uh, when I look in my cup and sort of rug. <laughs> Very well, then. Um, and so your intent is that we escort you to pay the ransom? Is that what you want? Indeed, indeed. We, we, must, uh, we must pay the ransom. Uh, Bonnie must be, uh, Isabel must be... Uh, must be uh, released. Mm. Very well. This sounds like a worthy job. What does she look like? Yes. How do we know when we find her? Well, he will be with us. Well, I, I will come with you, of course. All right. Okay. Your, 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 my, your, my protection. Protect the, uh, protect the ransom. Oh Understood. right, we're protecting you, and you're going to rescue her. Okay, fine. Of course. A, tr a, tree a tree horn does not leave his, uh, his damsel in distress. Solid plan. All right, so well, then we will meet you outside in a day's time, in time early in the morning in time for the tide. Is that right? In indeed. On the, well, next, the next tide. I look at the others um, see what they think. What do you think? That sounds okay? Yes. I'll hold out some mushrooms and say, let's get fucked up. <laughs> it sounds like a dangerous journey. Uh, I'm in. <laughs> good man. Me too. Sounds good. What do you mean what dangerous? You money. Is it really going to be dangerous? 
I'm worried. Can I have a look around this? Are you asking? See what else is in here? Is it just a regular hotel room or? Yeah, it's just a, hel a, a, a hotel room. So you can discern realities uh, if you if you wish. Sorry. You could discern realities if you wish. Uh, I feel like I've got a general sense of the situation. <laughs> is he still in the room, by the way? He is. That is his room. He wouldn't leave you alone in his room. He's kind of. <laughs> oh, it's, it's his, his room. room. Yeah. Yes. Look, there's yeah. a bed. Uh, c can we crash here? <laughs> <laughs> um. No, that wouldn't be appropriate. We've just met. <laughs> so, so, um, Viscount, how, how far? You, you may call me Jack. Um, how far would we be? <laughs> how far would we would be travelling? Is it, are we it's, talking about a day's travel? Or it's, a... it's but a but yes, but a, a day's travel. Okay. But, well, I think that you sounds... Know, the high seas, pirates abound. We, we must... Uh, I must take precautions to protect the... Uh, the ransom. Yeah, indeed. That's, that's a wise decision. Uh, and we're just men to do it. So. Good, good. I think everything's Green's in order. Here. That sounds good. Oh, what a relief. I've been so worried about her. Oh. Well, don't worry. We'll get you and the money there. Uh, I'm sure there'll be no problem. What could possibly go wrong? How about those shrooms, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not so we loud. The bar, then. No. We can, we can take them here. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the adventure from the, the time before last has broken you. <laughs> okay, well, um, I think if we're done here, then I'm going to head back out into the main pub. Okay. Yes. All right, see you tomorrow. Right, no. Adieu. So when we leave the room, does he leave with us or do we leave on our own? Um, he, he stays. I um I suggest to the uh, the group that it might be worth keeping an eye on him to see what he does between now and tomorrow morning. Uh, how do you propose we do this? Well, I mean, we could keep an eye on whether he leaves the pub 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 or not. Mm, sure. Uh, Durga volunteers to stay close to him. He seems like a fairly uh, straight up chap. Well, what are your suspicions? I don't know. It just it seems a bit, a bit odd. He's kicking around this part of town. He doesn't have the money on him yet. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, don't you worry. I'll, I'll sleep outside his door, and then we'll meet you tomorrow. I'll, I'll follow him to the port. Well, I was thinking I could you know, act like a stray and. Be outside, and if he leaves, you can keep an eye on him. Oh, that works too. Yeah, for sure. I can also turn invisible. Quite comfortable to uh, have a little nap outside in the, uh, you know, in the streets. It's fairly comfortable for uh, compared to what I normally sleep in. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, I guess I'll stay in the bar, or d d can we get room somewhere else? Or do we already have a room, actually? Um, you have you have lodgings elsewhere. All oh, right. Okay. You're staying at the um, Bloody Lamprey, I think it's called. Right. Uh, Maybe the pickled the pickled Bloody Lamprey, which oh, is in the best. We've we've chosen that place because they have wine and tea. Mm. Oh, it's it's a it's a it's a much better establishment than this. Yeah, it that is a bit strange. It dug our world slap. Uh, Barry on the back and say, all right, be a good dog. And then he'll walk away okay. uh, back to the lodgings. How far away is the lodgings from here? Um, uh, I'll flip to the map in a minute. But as are you all leaving or just or apart from Barry or? 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to the lodgings as well. Yeah. Okay, as you head towards the door, the voice shouts, Oi! What about your fucking dog? Oh, I'm sure you'll uh you keep him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, pay pay the tamp with with his meat. Oh oh very generous. I'll oh, make a fine stew, mate. You're welcome. <laughs> So we, the the stables were out the back, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't eat him all at once, and uh, <laughs> let's have the collar back. <laughs> Next time we're in. Okay. All right. And we'll uh, head out. Okay, okay. Um, so the rest of you are going back to the lodgings. Yeah. And... Um, Barry's going to um, <coughs> camp out outside to keep an eye on um, the Viscount. Yeah, I think I'll find a little little tasty alleyway near the, the pub and okay. I'll find a little cobble box. And... All right, give me a um, shape shift. Okay. Boom. What, what, what if he fails at that? Is he like half a dog? Or... <laughs> I, <can't laughs> I rolled all of the dice well. Uh, that's for me to decide. I get to choose plus, all plus, oh. plus forward and plus ongoing. Okay, loading. so if you see, you can. Uh... So you may take the physical form. So wh when you change. You, I, I have to come up with a move, right? Uh, what, and what, what does that mean? So, so all of these things are moves. So, hack and slash is a move. Uh, uh, shape shift is a move, uh, where you roll the dice and you either succeed, succeed with consequences, and fail. Um, and. Um, so I will give you a move that's just appropriate for the for the animal. And if you want to use that move, you use a hold, and you then it's burned up. And you can do so. This for this what this this for this occurrence of turning into a dog, you can use a move. But I will hold my right to decide what that move is until it seems appropriate. So if you say I want to do something based on being a dog. And I'll say, oh, then there's this, you know, the move That's now right. is do this doggy thing, and whatever do it I might get be. Three of those because I get hold you, three. Yes, exactly. And this because because you roll well, you get hold three. If you do it otherwise, you get hold two. Okay, that doesn't answer my question though. That's really useful, but doesn't answer quite answer my question. If oh, you want to know yeah, with on, a specific? Go on, on, on my roll, I rolled a thirteen, which was two d six plus my wisdom. Yeah. But then there's three more plus zeros. I don't know what. How do I change those numbers? And oh, like those are for. Okay, so what those are for, and this will come up, is is uh, things like debilities. So, if you get poisoned, you'll get a minus. Uh, if right. you do something like um, if somebody assists you, you'll get a plus one. Okay. And that would so be like a, if I use my aid to aid one of my bonded people, then uh, yeah, then they get a plus one forward. All right, cool. Or a plus one ongoing. It's different things, and that's what those okay. are. Great. All right, cool. And, and and if you look on the character sheet, there's little check boxes for those, yep. so you can check them on and roll, do the roll. Cool. cool okay. Cool. Um, All right. So I think that's a good point to just have a quick um, break. I'm going to grab a drink because I'm in mean, the car okay. and, um, and go to the bathroom. So. Just say five minutes, back at ten. All right, sure thing. Nine. 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 Cool. Yeah. I need a wee okay. end. So get a drink as well. Cool. Back in a sec.
Exactly. Once you've shaved it. I'm back. Okay. Switzerland um, just won a game in the World Cup, so there's a lot of... Yeah, that we heard. Yeah. We heard the um, car horns from here. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Barry, after about um, a couple of hours waiting in the street, um, uh, and you, you only, uh, only about three people try and kick you, um, oh. uh, yeah, not, it's not a nice, not, it's not a nice crowd here. You do see one beggar who keep, he keeps staring at you in a kind of, you can see some saliva running down his mouth. <laughs> I'm starting to get worried that he might be, uh, ready to consume you when, um, when the Viscount, um, comes out of his house and we will go to here. He proceeds to a house in the. Have I switched it? I've switched maps. I'm on the map, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's on the city map. Yeah. He goes. He goes. He travels to a, a house here, which has got a large grounds and a, a not not the one marked E. This one. That one. Um, hang on. Let me mark it. Oh, sorry, yeah, you're right. That one. Yeah. I didn't do a very good job of that. Anyway, um, yeah, so... Um, <coughs> and it's it's large and gated, and he, he, he strides quite quickly in, and the gates are shut behind by some some doorman. What do you do? Bark for five straight hours. Hello. <laughs> 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 I feel like I want to do do born of the soil, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh no, that's when I take aim at someone. No, that's, that's what I was talking about. Hmm. Don't worry about the moves. Just tell me what you want to do. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and sneak, sneak, sneaky over the wall. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend to be his dog. I'm gonna walk in confidently, just a few paces behind, so that he doesn't realise I'm there, but the guards think I'm with him. Um, give me. I'm gonna say, give me a. Defy danger, <laughs> and you can either use charisma as you're trying to give off a vibe that you're. I don't like charisma. What the other option? Uh, uh, or I'm going to say dexterity would be the other because of more of a stealthy right, thing. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, as you. As you um, wander in, try to wander in, one of the doormen, doormen's like, Oi! Get out of it! Swings a foot at you. What do you do? No! The foot's coming in. Uh, I'm going to, to try and uh, dodge out the way of the foot and into the, the, the house a bit. Okay. Um, give me a give me another defy danger dex by mark an experience point as well. Oh, is that <clears throat> so? That's another fail. So another experience point <laughs> and uh, roll um, roll a d four. I've put some buttons on here as well for, for ease of use if you want. God's sake! Um, you, you take a point of damage. Oh dear! And you're uh, unceremoniously uh, booted into the street, and then the, and the and the man's like uh, pick, picks up a starts, starts to pick up a stone from the from the guard and starts throwing at you. Get off! Get off! Uh, I'm gonna mangy, mangy run, 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 but like along the fence and 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 round the corner. Okay. 
Yep. So the so the <coughs> so as you go around, you see that the that it is a like a it's kind of like a two to three foot. Um, well, it's like a two foot stone wall with a with an embedded st uh, steel fence with large spikes on the top that rides to about ten feet, quite well protected. The, the, the house itself is pretty grand. It's not one of the of the seven main houses. It's somewhere lower down in the uh, the ranking order, but just below. Um, I'm not here to cause trouble. I just, I'm just trying to watch. Do I, rec do I get the impression that this is his house? Um, um, Are there any like you house sure. medley signs or? Uh, you do see a, you do see a, um, a, uh, a crest above the gate. Um, you can spout law. I sir. Um, yes, you, um, you, um, you see there the, 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 um, it's a large tree and, uh, a rampant lion. And his name was tree something, wasn't it? Tree beard or? Tree horn. Tree horn. So I get the impression this is his house. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna um, probably head back to the the, the group then. I, I'm gonna. I, I think. I think that he's probably gone home. Um. How long do you wait around before? Um. I suppose I'll probably stick around for twenty minutes or so just to see if he comes back out. To your surprise, he comes back out. After 20 minutes, after more like 10 minutes. Does he look like he's carrying a big bag of gold? Uh, how close are you to him? Um, I'm in the, the, the biggest, closest bush I can find. Okay. As he comes out of the gate and he, and he starts to stride away, uh, you, um, you, you can see that he... Uh, give me a discern realities. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. You can't discern anything, but you do hear him say after he's walked some like a short distance out of the earshot of the doorman, "Bitch." Hmm. And then he keeps walking. Ooh. Interesting. I'm gonna follow him. Stealthily, he goes back to the uh, to the tavern, to the foul anchor, and goes inside. Hmm. What do you do? Um. <laughs> Uh, I'm just trying to understand the, the bitch reference. Um, can I, can I, um, does he go back up to his room? Um, you can't see. Oh, because I haven't gone in the pub. Yeah. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to turn back into my small halfling self. Yep. And attempt, well, I'm going to go into the pub, but I'm okay. going to pull my hood up before I go in. So that he wouldn't immediately recognise me if he, if I walked straight into him. Okay, as you walk into a pub, pub, a voice shouts, "Oi, no fucking kids, get out!" <laughs> <laughs> I, I sort of look up at the bar and go, "All right, mate, get fucked." Oh, oh, it's you! Oh, your dog ran off. <laughs> He's a little Ooh. fucker. He'll be back. <laughs> I like mimicking I, 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 his his sort of like. His sweary language accent. <laughs> I, I hope so. We got no. We had to have bloody vegetable soup today. <laughs> Disgusting. Well, as I told you, vegetables are much healthier than than meat. You want to get bored? It's better for the soul. 
Do you want to get bored, <laughs> mate? Keep talking. All right, mate. Just, all right, mate. Calm down. I'll just have some more of that tea. All right. <laughs> right. One tea slams the mug down, pours you another grog, pushes across. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw him some money. Do I have any money? Do oh, I have money? Is yeah, you have, you have some, some, some small amount of change that doesn't amount to anything of, you know. Ah. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw him what I do have, um, not being one who keeps much coin on on me, and uh, and asking for any information that he might have on on that on that that viscount fella. Presuming he, I'm not stood right next to him. Oh, that that knob. Yes. I tell you what, he's a right pain in the arse. I tell you, he's going to get kicked out if he doesn't pay his bloody rent soon. I don't think he's got much money himself. Are you actually sure he's a knob? Not a pretend oh, he, knob? Oh, yeah, he's definitely a knob. I tell you what, he's, he, he's, he's bloody, his bloody aunt, the dowager of my countess, Maudlin Treehorn, she's sodding loaded. Yeah, she's like coming out, seen, of that, coming out um, of the orifice. <laughs> it's, the only yeah. reason I, it's the only reason I put up, put up with him. He'll but bloody, have you see he, the he, gold coming out of his orifice? <coughs> well, he's he's due, he's, to get, he's due to get the, get his hands on that money when she kicks the bucket. Although that old bitch has been going for years. Don't know when she's ever going to die. I think sometimes she just just holds on to, to spite the little bastard. Can you hold on that long to get your tab paid? Oh, mate, with all these piss heads, I'm, I'm doing all right. Couldn't, couldn't afford to uh, have, a, have a punt on... On one little knob. <laughs> I said in character laugh. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneaky sneak up to, to to outside of that fella's room then, if he's not in the pub. Okay. Oh, he, sorry. He's, yeah, he's gone gone up to his room. Yeah. Um, and I'm just gonna uh, listen at the door and see if I can hear hey. him talking to himself or. Is, Park or whatever. You can hear him uh, moving around the room. You hear some occasional chuntering. Nothing. N- nothing specific. All right. Um, then you hear. You do. You do hear. Um, you hear like metal against metal at some point. Like metal being tipped into on top of other metal. Yeah. <coughs> Do I get the impression that I may have been pouring some some money into his chest? Could be. All right, I'm going to head back to my crew. <coughs> okay. And what do you tell them? Uh, I'm going to tell them that uh, I reckon this fella went to try and get some money from his uh, from his aunt. Auntie, Auntie Treehorn, who uh, is the one with all the money, I've heard. The uh, the barkeep, uh, he uh, loosened his tongue a bit after I bought another cup of tea. Um, and uh, I, But I don't think that she gave him quite as much as he needed to get his love. Maybe she didn't approve of, uh, of his mission. Um, but it sounded like he did have some, some coin kicking around. I reckon we should still, still help him out. So you rec- do you think he hasn't got the correct amount for the uh, ransom then? Uh, are we going to get have... there and there's going to be trouble because they'll open and find there's not enough in it? I'm sure the kidnappers can't do maths. We'll, we'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, he, he may stiff us, but I bet I don't imagine he's going to go without the ransom for his lover. He seems to be quite committed to, to retrieving her. But whether we get stiffed or not at the end... Well, mm. time will tell. Yeah, I'll keep my eye on that one. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you could steal the gold back after he pays the <laughs> ransom. Yeah, just stick it under my jumper. <laughs> Nobody will notice. Be fine. Swap it out for some, you know, rocks. I don't know. What do you think? Just do. Yeah, swap it out for rocks. Good plan. All right, well. Uh, presumably it's late in the evening by now, is it? It is. Uh, and we're meeting him early in the morning, so... No, so you've got a day. 
So oh, we've got it on right. Oh, right. Okay. Um, hmm. I could do with getting my toes in some dirt. Maybe it's we been could. a while since I felt the, uh, the the real soil. The city is uh, is not a place I like to spend a lot of time. Should have just bought like a plant pot or something with you, <laughs> so you could stand in overnight. <laughs> um, all right. So so what do we think then, guys? What are we going to do? What's the? Should we try and find out some more? I mean, okay. So he he, did, he didn't get enough we gold. Can't... Sorry, go ahead. He's going to try and get more somehow. I think we could let him deal with that. It's not really our problem. We could grab a bottle of wine, maybe some tea, sit down in a park, and sort of take in the sun. I'm just or, worried he's not going to have enough to pay us. Yes, if he shows up without the correct amount for the ransom, that's not going to go well, is it? Well, look at it this way. If we had a way to get gold fast, we would have used it already. <laughs> yeah, yeah true, true. Does anybody get the name of the ship that he's planning on sailing in? He didn't uh, tell you. No, I don't think he mentioned it, did he? Uh, I mean, do we want to go and investigate that house he's just been to? Would that be something worth doing? I reckon the, the, the swordsmen that guard that are probably ready to contend with the likes of us. Oh, we could just sneak past them, though, couldn't we? I tried. <laughs> Fail. Hmm. And anyway, anyway, once we're inside, what are we going to do? Well, find out who actually oh, does live there, whether uh, it is. Can't, um, can't uh, Piero turn people invisible? Maybe we could turn Weasel, and he could weasel his way in. <coughs> That's not mm -hmm. a bad idea. I can certainly do that. You seem like the uh, the guy who can slip in and out without anyone noticing. Or at least that's what I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could do that. Uh, very quickly, speaking of spells, I don't know how many I get. Um, could you tell me? I could look it up. A hundred. At least one. It's the commune. When you spend uninterrupted time, an hour or so, in quiet communion with your deity, you lose any spells you've already granted for you. You're granted new spells of your choice, whose total levels don't exceed your own level plus one, and none of which is a higher level than your own level. Prepare all your rotes, which never count against your limit. So, two first level, I think, basically. Cool. Thank you. Start with. Slightly different from the wizard. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but also slightly similar. Yes, indeed. So, that means I need to prepare invisibility. So what's, what's the plan then? We go to the house, cast invisibility, I'll sneak in, have a look around, see who's there. I mean, we can also ask around about who lives there without going in first. Maybe uh, um, uh, Piero could make a distraction to the, uh, the guards at the gate as you slip in. What kind? I don't know. You guys seem to have some sort of con that you're often, you're often doing. What are you talking about? I would never do such a thing. Yeah, you distract him or I'll just sneak past. That would work. Show him one of your magic tricks. Hmm? Excuse me? Uh, oh, I tell you what, I could probably turn into it. I, I've been, been recently, I've been uh, researching a, a strain of the very tiny spiders who can move at the pace of uh, a human man. Um, they're the, the creepiest things. They've got the most amazing blue colouring across the back. You've, you've never seen anything like it before, but, but maybe I could uh, turn into one of those and, and, and sneak along with you. Nobody would ever know I was there. There you go. That's another plan. 
that could work. Yeah. I my 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 element is stone. I believe I could cause a distraction with the element. Yeah. And I can talk to people to distract them as well. Yeah. And we've just so we've got a pretty hefty gate that you'd probably need to get it open um, so that that, that weasel can slip right in. Or just climb over the wall, maybe. Uh, Yeah, it looked pretty high. It was good good 11 feet of of wire and mesh and all that crazy stuff. Kind of stuff that keeps a man out. But you know, you look pretty, pretty, pretty uh, very odd. Not the first wall I've climbed over. Keep, keeps a, just 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 to say keeps a dog out. <laughs> I mean, and and a halfling, it looks really high. <laughs> well, there you go. I wasn't going to say anything, but now you've mentioned it, there is the height difference. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so once I'm in there, what, what do I need to find out? Just find out who lives there, see if I can learn anything about their financial situation, perhaps. Maybe you could, uh, you could um, help out our, our financial situation. I, I certainly, uh, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't have any money, but I don't really feel for it. But maybe uh, maybe if we needed some money to, uh, to pay the ransom or pay ourselves, if we're not going to get paid by Master Treehorn. Well, there's that too. We'll just sneak in and see what we find out. But We've got you, a day to kill anyway, haven't we? But how do you find out? That's the question. Because if you're sneaking around, you can't really ask questions. Well, maybe there's, there might be documents lying around, or I might overhear someone talking, or... I don't know, just go sneak in there, see what I can see. Mm-hmm. See what I can learn. I mean, who was he referring to when he said bitch? Was he... I'm assuming he means his... the Viscountess Maudlin... I reckon that's what he was talking about. I mean, he, he's got no lover because she's been kidnapped. Yeah. He's got no mother because we've never heard about her. But <laughs> that auntie, auntie money lady, she's, she's, she's the woman. Yeah, so we could, we're kind of assuming she, he's probably gone there to ask for money. Yes. And she said no. I and reckon he doesn't have left. a big enough cash to pay the ransom himself. Yeah. So if we sneak in, we can have a look around, see if we can learn anything. That would either confirm that or deny that or learn some other information that might be useful. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, what, what do you think? No, unless we, have we, a... we can just wait out the day and meet him in the morning at the place. And there's that boat we could also check out. But I'm not sure if there's anything interesting there. So what do you reckon? What should we do? Sounds like a plan. I mean, we've got a day to kill. We might as well do yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Men as well get in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Lead the way. Okay. So we're going to kind of head over towards the house, trying not to look too conspicuous. Okay. And then uh, we're going to try and sneak in. Maybe we should do this early in the morning. <coughs> rather well, than you broad daylight. Make sure you do it when everybody's up and about. You know, we've got to hear the, the regular day conversations. That's true. All right. Okay. <coughs> so what are you doing? Um, this is quite a, bu- a busy area. Uh, let me just go back to the map. How long can you uh, make somebody invisible for, uh, Piero? Until they attack or... Let me see. Or okay, so basically, as long as you don't attack, from yeah, uh, will be will you be fine? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. So well, we should probably cast this uh, not in the main street. <laughs> yes. Uh, by the way, can I my prepared spells? Can I use them only once? Um, okay, so roll the. Are you gonna are you gonna cast it? So wait, just a question first thing. Do, can I only roll? Can I only use my uh, spells you once? It. You, it's all in this casting a spell. If it, if you fail, 
mm-hmm. or you get an intermediate success, an intermediate thing. But if you get an intermediate thing, you get to choose one of three effects. If you fail, I get to decide. Okay, but can I only one, do it? One of those. So one of those is, is minus one forward. Another one is draw attention, which wouldn't really make sense in this scenario because <laughs> you're not really under attack. And the third one is lose the spell until you relearn them. Okay. But can I cast it many times or just once? So uh, it, if you cast it and I take it away, you can't cast it anymore. But if it, Or you've decided not to, to hand it over, then you can't cast it anymore. But there are other options. So it depends on the situation. Okay. So like Magic Missile, I could use it many, many times if it's prepared. You can keep casting it, but okay. like once you've got minus one to ca- cast spells going forward, and if there's no opportunity for you to draw attention, then the option left is that you lose the spell. Okay, understood. <coughs> uh, yeah, or if it's me, I might just take the spell away from you uh, if, I, if I'm getting to decide um, if it's a complete failure. Do How many or cantrips all. do we get, by the way? All of them. All of them. Okay, awesome. Thank but, you. But, it's just, but it operates in the same way, but you just know them all. Gotcha. But you still can have it so that you no longer have that spell available for the for the rest of the period until you rest again. But you will obviously have a rest before you sail tomorrow. Just to point out, you'll have time to... Yeah. Sweet. All right. So we'll head over to the house then. Okay. Should I cast the spell already? Or... <coughs> uh, wait till we get there. Because we'll hang around in the bushes first, and then <laughs> you cast a spell. I'll nip over the wall, sneak through the garden, and get to uh, look for a back door or a window I can get through. Okay. Okay. Um, you get there. The, <coughs> the streets are kind of busy. <coughs> this is just quite near the hub of the, some of the major houses and there's a lot of servants m- moving around doing the kind of daily shopping and uh, laundry and so on carts passing down the street you do see quite a lot of activity quite a lot of people coming to the house going in and going out there's a, a doorman the, the two doormen there still asking people as they come in and out um, uh, and um yeah, you know, just a sort of normal noble house. The gates are open. I mean, it's not. Uh, they're not. They're not. They don't shut the gates in the day. They have doormen there. Right. Okay. <coughs> can I? Uh, can I? Can I turn into to my little spider friend? You can try. <coughs> you succeed. You succeed. I'm going to scurry up on Groven's shoulder. Not Groven, Weasel. All right. Um, so, what's the best way to do it? I mean, if the gate's open, maybe we just cause a distraction and then sneak through. It's better if we are several of us going in. So if, if I could turn myself invisible, then I would like to go. <coughs> Can I actually turn multiple people invisible if I cast it many times? You could try. Okay. <clears throat> so how about I do it on Weasel first? Or do you not need it because you're very sneaky? Well, if you can do it more than once, but let's give it a go. Make it easier, won't it? Right. If they can't see us. So Piero starts shifting his hands around and touches your forehead. And you die. <laughs> nope. Sure, rolls. Hmm? But you do cast spell. Oh, I have to Not do cast spell? Because it says 0d0. Zero yeah. zero. Uh, where's cast spell? It's another of your moves, should be. Ah, okay. There we go. <coughs> okay. Um. Uh, choose one of the above. 
one of those three. The spell just starts to be prepared as you cast. Take minus one ongoing. What does that mean? Minus one ongoing to cast. So that means next the next time I cast I will get minus one? You will you'll take minus one, yeah. Only next time or No, ongoing. Ongoing. Every Forward time is, until you prepare spells again. Forward is once. Ongoing is 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 until you you know, have a reset of the effect. Okay. I mean, since he's invisible and we're on the streets, I don't mind drawing some attention. Um, you can you can do it. It's up to you. Yeah, let's try that. So, um, so you think you're in a, a, a hidden place out in the streets and ma and make make him invisible. Um, <coughs> and as you do, a, vo a voice goes. From one of the one of the doormen across the way is pointing in your direction, going, "He just vanished. What's going on?" <laughs> then right away I do, I do. Ah, yes, and you can be next if you'd like. <laughs> Are you threatening me? No, it's uh, I'm uh, I'm doing some little magic tricks, and I do a little uh, puff of uh, sparks in my hands, just to show him, with. We'll do it somewhere else. We don't like these polar games around here. Okay, very well. And, uh, I guess me and uh, and Durga just walk away because the other two are not very visible right now. He's, he's he kind of stares at you as you as you walk. Is that a guard actually, or or just a guy? It's not a doorman. A doorman. Okay. A doorman. While this is going on, can I? While well, he's distracted, am I able to <coughs> sneak past him? Now that uh, I'm invisible. Yes, you, you can sneak past. I don't have to roll for that. All right. Yeah, I'm going to wander, wander. over the wall. Follow yeah. Raven. There's, 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 no, there's no problem. You can probably even cast a thread of web and kind of drift along on on him. As a Hang on, I'm going to shut the door. Noisy kids. Yeah, because I think if you're, if you're walking, it's going to take you way longer to get there. <laughs> As a tiny spider. <laughs> no, because I told you this this particular street I've been researching for the last few weeks. It's got this beautiful coloring. That one of the one of the amazing things about it is that it can move at the same speed as a as a regular a regular human man. Uh -huh. That's amazing. Fortunately, they're not poisonous. That is fortunate. So I managed to sneak in <coughs> into the house past the the. Uh, you, you have yes. Norman. Um, looking around, what do I see there? So, the doormen were at the gate, so you're in the gardens, and before you, you see a grand mansion. Okay, do I see a door? There's, there, there, there are, there's a beautiful gardens with hedges and flowers, there's pink flowers, there's blue flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, do I recognise what these flowers are? Are any of them amazing? There are a selection of from far and wide. You're quite impressed with the uh, amount of botany available in this garden. Um, do I see any doors into the main building? Yeah, there's a, there's a grand set of doors with a large stairway. Um, uh, anybody and, there, standing by the doors? Um, no, the door the door is the door is closed. Um, that one doesn't seem to have a lot of activity. All right. I, uh, I can I talk to uh, Weasel? Um, can the spider talk? I no. No. How do you know All where right, Weasel is? He's invisible. Those doors and sneak inside. So you're going to open the grand doors? Uh, yeah. Why not? Okay. Um, roll a. Uh, whatever the, the stealth move is, if it's a specific one for the I don't know your specific moves. I don't so. know if there is a stealth one. There's tricks to trade, but that's pick box. And um, otherwise, then I defy, danger. I defy danger with the Fine danger. Sorry, quick question. When do you get experience? Like when I did my spell? If you, if you fail, then yes. No, that's that's a partial success. So. Okay, yeah. 
you have to get lower than that. Okay. I got it. Okay. okay. Uh, how, how much do you get eight. to level up? Uh, seven plus uh, your level, so eight. Okay. Um, so the, so you open the door, and as you step in, there's actually a couple of doormen stood in the hallway, but um, as the door opens, the the kind of one of them lifts an eyebrow and walks towards it, and you manage to sort of step aside around him, and he okay. just like, just. He just he pulls it to and says, "But the drafts in here are getting terrible." <laughs> um, what do I see in terms of um, the room like, and exits or stairs? So you're in an exquisite hallway, white marble floors, very light, a huge chandelier, large sweeping staircases on either side of the hallway. There's a there's a large um, double doors at the at the, at the opposite, opposite main entrance and then a couple of smaller side doors to either side. Okay, I'll head up the stairs. <coughs> okay. Um, yep. Um, you, you proceed upstairs and um, it leads to a, a, a balcony um, and then from the back of that there's a corridor leading off. Okay. Um, I'll head down the corridor. Can I hear any anybody talking or any kind of uh, any of the inhabitants? It's, it's the day, so there's there are some staff, uh, some maids making beds and and generally cleaning. Uh, it's kind of a you know a busy household things right. going on. Um, okay. And you see that there are three doors here along the corridor. Um. Do I get a sense of, are there any portraits on the wall or anything? Do I get a sense yeah, of yeah. who's... Yeah, it's, it's a well-populated grand house, you know, there's a there's a, a line of <coughs> portraits of, of, of mostly men along the wall, um, you know, from different styles through the age. Um, they're humans, um, and you'd see, like, you know, they proceeded, like, the ones closest to this end of the corridor are very, very kind of, very, very, very old style clothing. And as you move along, you see the more modern styles. And as you get to the end, you see a, a very um, <coughs> austere, kind of haughty-looking, um, grey-haired lady with her hair tied up uh, on top of her head in a huge kind of complicated bun. Right, staring at the picture. The Viscountess, I'd imagine. Uh, and these three doors. If I list, can I listen at the nearest one? And um, do I hear anything? Um, this one, yes, you can hear some somebody bustling around, singing a, a tune to themselves. Okay. Um, and then the next one. Nothing. Nothing. Have we passed any uh, animals, pets, or anything like that? No, there's no there's no animals. Okay. Oh. Well, Try the door that I can't hear anything from behind the one that I'm assuming is in the empty <coughs> room. Okay, you enter. It's a grand bedroom. There's a, a huge four-poster bed, uh, a dressing table, large, pi you know, lots of pillows and large drapes and tapestries. Okay. Looks, you would say, from what you you're uh, from what you've seen of, of no, like a <coughs> a noble lady's bedroom. Okay. Um, is there like a dressing table or anything? Yeah, there? there's a there's a large dressing table. But does it have drawers on it? Can I try the drawers? See if there's. I'm looking for yeah. any kind of notes or letters or paperwork or anything, or anything like that. Bad. Or yeah. anything. Like that. As as you get to the dressing table, your eyes light up. There are um, beautiful silver combs. Uh, a large a silver vanity mirror. Um, are you going to open drawers? Yeah. So you open the drawers and you find a, you find a, well actually there's on, on on there there's a small chest itself which is very ornate. Okay. Inlaid with gold and gems and it, as you open it up, if uh, do you open it up? Yeah, go on then. Um, a. Uh, uh, it's filled with jewellery, and it starts to go 
ding, 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 like yeah. a mechanical. All right, I'll shut the thing. What kind of size chest are we talking about? Uh, like a um, shoebox. Shoebox. Okay. Uh... What? <laughs> I'll... Can I take it with me? You can. Is that a good idea, I wonder? Oh, Actually, I no, I'll open it quickly, get the jewels out and sh shut it again. Okay. And what are you doing with the jewels? Stuffing them in my pockets. Okay. Um, Barry Manilow, you no. see all of this jewellery lift out of this chest, then kind of shuffle around and kind of lodge in space. <laughs> Can I still see the jewels? Yeah. I bite um, Weasel on the shoulder. Uh, do I know as, as, you, as you feel this bite, you look down and you see these jewels floating oh. in, in, in midair. All right. Uh, maybe that's not such a good idea then. Um, what do I know about... When I shapeshift, does all the stuff that I'm holding presumably shapeshifts with me? Yes, in your, in, in your instance it does, yes. Um, <coughs> in which case, I'm going to unshapeshift. Okay. Yeah, good as idea. As quietly as possible. Stick the stuff okay. in your pockets. And, uh, to, and just, just give, uh, give the weasel a bit of a look. I told you you weren't very good. <laughs> very good thief. Uh, I got Pray. us in here, didn't I? Well, anyway, English. shush. You'll attract noise. You'll attract attention. You can see him, though. Okay, it's quick. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, okay. Um, anything else in the room? That I'm trying to find <coughs> any kind um, of information. I don't, I don't really know what I'm looking for. This doesn't... Yeah. This looks like a lady's bedroom. There are there are cupboards filled with with very fine gowns. There's are there any nipples? perfumes. There are yes. Uh, particularly looking for dainty objects. <laughs> dainty objects. Yeah. I mean there are there, there are there are there are, there are gussets for uh, they're not um, they're not necessarily the most. Uh, I'd like to take one of those. <laughs> okay. Stay out, then. Nice. Uh, just going to put it in my pocket for now. Okay. Right, come on, let's go. Let's see if we can find out something. Um, okay, so um, there's there's an invisible thief and a uh, halfling in this room. What do you do? Uh, are there any other exits out of the room or just, just the way we can? <coughs> <end? coughs> That's it. Uh, I'd su I suggest to um, Barry that he shapeshifts again and we sneak out. Let's give it a go. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll try and head back oh. out the door. Okay. You're, as you're about to sh shapeshift, the door opens and this, this, um, this maid shrieks. She walks in with a. She's got a big pile of um, big pile of linen. She shrieks and drops the the, the, the linen, and she she starts. Like, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Get out! Get out! Uh, and you're you're kind of um, so distracted by the shrieking that you uh, you fail to uh, to uh, to change your shape. Can I can I try and attempt to calm her? She's she's got. If you move towards her, she stops. She runs off. You hear. You can hear a lot of commotion now. There's people running around the house. I'm going to close the door. Uh, in fact, I'm going to I'm going to attempt to shove a Weasel outside the door and then close the door. Okay. So I'm invisible outside the door. Yep. And right. you're very very rapidly coming. You see, like three burly guards. And they, uh, what do you do? They're kind of running towards you because you're in front of the door. Uh, I step out of the way of the door so they don't run into me. Okay. And they, discover they, that I'm there. they burst through into the, into the, into the bedroom. 
Oi, what are you doing here? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the door and like hide behind it. Give me a um give me a uh, defy danger. Give me defy danger. Um so um they come um you you go with the door, um, but um they burst they burst in and the door kind of flies into you pushes you back into the wall and it's starting to swing back what do you do can i attempt to try and turn into a spider again um again okay, okay give give me a roll of mark experience for that like, not that one but the one before okay and then can i attempt to try and turn into a spider yep So they see me <laughs> But hey, you get an experience point. <laughs> if you survive, you'll level up. Is that how this works? You get an experience point every time you fail, yeah. So the, the so the when you get a complete failure like the six and the three, you get experience. So you just right. got to experience. I'm, so, I'm gonna throw my hands up. <laughs> So, so what happens is you're trying to shape to to shape shift, and as as you do, uh, trying to form your mind, one of them um, punches you in the stomach. Uh, roll a d4. Ah, uh, the the whole thing. I press one button. The whole thing's closed. I'm on it. I'm on it. Uh, you take that much stun damage. You'll get that back quick, rather than. Uh, What's the stun damage? Stun damage is like non permanent damage. So that they could not. Yeah, Can you, I, while this is going on. You lost all your hit points from stun. The door's open, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, can I move into the room, gr grab something, it can be anything, and just lift into the air and make like a ghostly kind of. <laughs> <laughs> to try and frighten the guards. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a pile of linen. I'll grab some linen. <laughs> Classic. And just kind of okay. wave it through the air and go. <laughs> Give me a parlay. Mm, interesting uh, choice. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> okay. Um, so, so the one that's holding, um, the, so the one that's just punched and grabbed, uh, Barry, it's like. What the f and, and let's go uh, of, of Berry, but another one of them says, "Oh, that, I saw these those, these bastards, magician turning people invisible earlier. Quick, get them!" And uh, yeah, so they're, they're 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 moving they're moving at you. All right, I'll try and dump the sheet over them. <laughs> okay, give and then me a make a quick escape. Give me a, give me a defy danger. With which that? X. Come on. Nine. Okay, uh, I'm going to say that you you can you you manage to get two of them with that. How many are there? Three. Three. Uh, is one of the ones. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, so that's two of them. Will be slightly confused. Uh, Barry, Barry, what do you do? Because this ghostly apparition appears. Barry. Oh, sorry, I was talking, but I didn't know my push to talk on. <laughs> um, the one that sounds was, like Bron. <laughs> Linen, is that the one that punched me, or is that a different one? Um, it's actually the other two. Mate. Okay, so the one that the one that punched me is still is still in front of me. I'd like to like to bite yeah, on. He, he, he's kind of let go of you though. I'd like uh, I'd like to I'd like to, as I like try and bite on his hand, I'd like to turn into a spider and run off his arm. So are you gonna are you gonna turn into a spider and bite on his hand, or bite on his hand and turn into a spider? Uh, I'd like to bite on his hand. As a spider, let's go with that. Okay, and then run so up his arm. Do the um, 
okay, you've you've turned into a spider, and then roll your uh, roll your uh, roller hack and slash. Woo, first one. Oh, that's good. Okay, it's good. Roll your damage. I don't. I don't really want to hurt him. I was. Okay, I was more trying choose. to like to 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 just like scare. Okay. Ro spike roll, his adrenaline or something. Roll your stun damage. Your stun damage. You could. Is that one d four? One d six. One d six. I would love to. I'm just loving back into my twenty. Keep hitting the wrong one. I've got two buttons on my mouse. One of them's push to talk. One of them is is back. <laughs> and they happen to be very close. 1d6 away. Okay. And you run up his uh, run up his arm. Yes. And, okay. and and sort of into his armor. Okay. All right. <coughs> so so uh Weasel. Mm. Um Oh, oh, so hang on. Cut to uh, Piero and uh, Durga. You're, you, I guess you're loitering outside, waiting for the others to return. Yeah, we'd be sticking around. You, <coughs> you hear a commotion uh, and some shouts being raised, and 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 like you see staff running towards the house. Oh no, they've been made. What do we do? People which are outside the house running into the house. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you uh, see the doorman. You see the doorman look at each other, and one of them, some kind of a few glances and a few words exchanged, and one of them starts to run into the house. And the other one sort of moves into the middle of the, starts to pull the gates closed. Let's uh, circle around the house and see if we can spot anything and maybe make a distraction. Circle around the house and? And see if we can spot anything and make a distraction. Uh, I don't think they're going to be distracted. They're attacking. and. But if we can spot them well, from outside, we... like from a window, we can maybe help from there. Otherwise, we have to go through all these people. Why don't you do that? I'll try to keep the, the gate open uh, so they can escape if they, if they do get out. Okay. Okay. Then I'm gonna circle around and I'm gonna just check the windows or try and see if I can hear a commotion coming from a specific room. Okay. And Durga will start throwing rocks at the guard, trying to close the gate. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're trying to, so Piero, you're trying to find the room that they're in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Give me a discern realities. Okay. Okay. You could ask me a question from below. I guess basically I'll take that as being the question. Yeah. Which room are they in? You spot the room that they're in. I do. Okay. Okay. Um, and uh, what can I see <coughs> in the room? Uh, what can you see? Um, you can see some um, some men. Um, under a sheet, sort of fumbling <laughs> around, um, and another guy kind of um, wiggling a lot, like kind of slapping himself. Can um, I? Okay, I, I can see that the, the second one is a guard, right? Well, they're they're they're, they're footmen. Okay, what's a footman? Um, like a no, soldier? Footman is, it's, it's like a, a a servant. Ah, okay. Um, uh, Durga, give me a volley. Yep. Okay. Um, you, um, you're kind of like quite an aged old dwarf, aren't you? Uh, not ancient, but old, yes. Uh, um, were he not bald, he had grey hair. Are you throwing like a pebble, or are you throwing a rock? Uh, it's not a fist-sized rock, but, you know, uh, something which fits into my hand. I guess a pebble, yeah. 
so not really the intention of doing damage. No, I'm trying to uh, make him stop whatever he's doing. So okay. he tends to me. You 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 hit him uh, on the head, and he stops and looks at you, and then he starts striding towards you, and he doesn't look very happy as you just threw a stone at him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were attacking, or is this somebody else? This is the doorman that was on the. So there were two doormen on the gate. One of them is running inside, and another one uh, is is uh, is about to punch a door. No. Um. <laughs> so hang on, we we'll cut back inside. Um, cool. <coughs> Weasel, you see, um, you see, um, Barry, um disappear into this man's up this man's sleeve. Mm-hmm. What do you do? Um, I'm still invisible, right? You are. Okay, I. Do I notice anybody coming up the stairs outside the room? And is there a window <coughs> in this room? Um, there, is a, there is a window. window. Yes, there's, a, there's a large glass window. There are everywhere, everywhere here is really nice, light and airy, big glass windows. And so on. Um, I'm thinking I might have, I think I might have to switch machines. I think I'm going to keep my wife up if I don't... Um, Okay. Just give me five minutes to. All right. All right give me a chance to do what I want to do. All right. You might be able uh, to see PL from the window, actually. Yeah, I'm wondering about climbing out the window. Why? Well, to get out of here. Oh, you mean in this game? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, just just anyway. Just just about to, <laughs> to kind of get out of here, because no, then nobody really knows I'm here. <laughs> But then that does leave you as a spider by yourself. Sorry, I'm a spider. Who's going to get me? Well, I could just go down the stairs because nobody's going to see me. That's true. Yeah, I think you can do that then. If you're right there as a spider. I'm I'm a spider. A spider. I'm sure I'll be fine. Okay. Ooh. That what spiders sound like. <laughs> <laughs> no, they sound like that's a spider scream. That's the scream of the man that I just bit. <laughs> I imagine he's not gonna attack you. He'd be freaking the fuck out <laughs> about a spider climbing into his ropes. It'd be one of those things where you just hit everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Try not to get squashed. Well, he might jump out the window. <laughs> We can only hope. You never know. You yeah, hit everything but the spider. Let's see. How many guards were there? Three. Three. Two of them are under a sheet at the moment. And one of them's wrestling with a spider. Okay. We or probably can't take them in one one <laughs> combat. No. Well, well, maybe we could, but it's probably not a good idea. There was two doormen, weren't there, as well? Downstairs. Well, I think there was only one attending to that gate. All oh, right. I think there would be four guards in total and maybe some servants. But yeah, probably running is the best idea. Okay. Yeah, especially we are trespassing, so. Yeah, time to get out of there. I I missed it. Do, do we have the gems? Do we have what? Um, yeah. They're in my pocket. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Barry's got them in his pocket. What do we have? A whole bunch of gems. Ah, in music right. Box. Nice. 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 
didn't really learn much about the uh, the financial situation of what's his face though. Got lots of jet. He's got lots of jet. Well, that's probably hers though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it depends what kind of room were you in. Was it a ladies' room or yeah. <laughs> a kids' room? <laughs> no, it was a ladies' room, I think. Oh, well, it's a big place, though, so. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get some more gin. Gin. We've had a long discussion. That yes. Of any meta gaming whatsoever. We have a seven step uh, course of action. Step one is dividing three chapters. Uh, <laughs> What's going to happen is Piero is going to sacrifice himself for the <laughs> Returned. I have agreed. It's quite funny actually because just when you left, Steve came back. And then Steve <laughs> left and you just came back. It's like ah, we're Maybe if I leave again, he'll come back. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm set. I have my turn. Oh. I gotta say, it's, uh, I'm, I'm surprised by how how good of a drink it is. It, okay. it goes down easy. <laughs> yeah, you know why? It's because you drank it with lots of sugar. Oh right, okay. What are you well, I, it with? well, um, lemonade, but well, there you go. Point yeah, but like a rum and coke is still sugar, and it still tastes the rum. Yeah, but it's because rum tastes like bananas, and it? <laughs> <laughs> tastes like bananas. <laughs> I don't know what rum are you drinking? Jack Daniels tastes like bananas. Jack oh, Daniels. it does not taste like bananas. Is There's it? something seriously wrong with your bananas if it tastes like bananas. You tell everyone this, but no one believes me. Don't yeah. buy Jack either. It's <laughs> super expensive for no reason. I don't because it makes me feel very sick. No. <laughs> There's that too. <laughs> Sorry about this. Sorry. Right. You will be. <laughs> By the way, until what time are we playing? Um, probably midnight because the thing's going to cut off. I don't think we're actually going to finish. But um, maybe right. is your internet set that. to turn off automatically at like? Yeah. It turns into a pumpkin. So. I, I, and I haven't. Uh, I will adjust it so it goes a little bit later, but not on the middle. Is that because you got kids or something? Well, and just because I didn't, <laughs> I haven't stayed up since midnight for God knows how long. <laughs> <laughs> that booming D and D is a bad influence. Yeah. To be fair, cool. I like the fact that you guys call it a day at midnight because for me that's eleven o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, it's too late. Any kind of yeah. the next day as well. And I play a lot, so rather. Yeah, missed the thirteen hundred hours on Lumin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of that's forgetfulness, but <laughs> sometimes you just stay in the game and leave forget you're in there. Yeah, exactly, just leave the tab open with it. Yeah. So anyway, right, right, yeah, yes. What were so, you going to do? That was a conversation we got a long time ago. Um, Weasel's going to nip out of the door and yeah. try and make it down the stairs undetected, down to the front door again. Okay. Leaving, uh, leaving. <laughs> Uh, Barry to uh, escape on his own. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Because uh, he is a spider, so he'll be fine. Yep. Um, so, so that's what I'm going to try and do. Okay. Um, just sorry, just a second. He's got to put quarters in the internet machine. 
sorry. So I thought my daughter was crying, but she's laughing. Um, yeah. Um, okay. So, Berry, you're in this armor. You can feel these earthquake-sized stunks as this man beats against his uh, his chest. What do you do? I run round his back. Okay. Um, you, you hear a really loud bellow. He's on my back. <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to try and sneak out of him and throw a throw a throw a butt clenched bit of uh, um, web to the ceiling and pull myself up to the ceiling without him noticing. Okay. So that, that that's the new move is throw a butch clenched web. Butch to web. Yeah. yeah. Roll two d six. And. I'm going to say you can add your decks. Who cares, mate? I rolled a 10. That's a hard <laughs> clench. Plus a 2, I think. Okay. No, cool. sorry, my decks is 0. I've got 12 decks, which I think is 0. You you were, says, yeah, the 0. Yeah. You do, and, and, um, and, and you, well, you swing away. And then I just want to scurry to the, like, a dark corner of the room. Okay. Um, Spiders are so good at disappearing out of sight when you're trying to kill them. <coughs> Durga, you see an angry man striding towards you. He doesn't seem to be particularly rushing. He just seems to be striding towards you. He, he says, Oh, it's been a long time since I punched a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Hold still. Uh, Jugger will say, I'm a cleric of Bleak, and Bleak commands his subjects to carry out his will. And his will is to make <laughs> all suffer. And he will take out his uh, Warhammer and will cast Cause Fear. Okay. Will cast what? Cause oh. So you need to now do the cast spell. Um, okay, perfect. You cast it. And uh, you, you, his face goes from one of um, a slight glee to one of absolute terror. And he turns on his heels and starts to, to run away from you. Back inside. He, and he's, he's running back towards the house, but, but doesn't really. <laughs> Durga will shout, not that way, I'm going that way. <laughs> he, just, he, just, he seems to ignore you. He's, he's been pelting away from you towards the house. Um, and, and, and when he gets to the gates, which you see him trying to clang the gates shut, what are you going to do? I, I run after him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as, uh, so as, as, um, as you approach... Uh, uh, and he sees you coming, he abandons the gates and, and helps towards the house. Um, Piero, what do you do? Uh, what do I see from the window? <coughs> you see um, you see a, a, a man planning himself. The other two seem to have done this. The, 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 um... the what? Hello? Hello. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. It's, it's magic. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I made him quiet. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? Back yes, now we can. So I had to just push it in and out. Um, <coughs> <the> entrance, so. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Um, you, what were you saying? So I saw the, the guy fighting so with his own back. Around. Yeah, he stops and he's sort of looking around, confused as as they all are. Yeah. Okay. Can you do anything? I'd like to. I'm just not sure what can I do. Um, I think I think at the minute then probably best to cut back to. Yeah. So you managed this. There's a lot of turmoil managed to sort of weave past people and out of the house. Okay. So <laughs> so the guy who was just running into the house. Does he run yeah. past me as I run out? 
Yeah, and if so, I'd like, like to kind of clothesline him as he goes past. <coughs> kind mm. of stick my arm out and try and... Okay, I'll call that uh, hack and slash. All right. Uh, press one button. There we go. Oops. And you're going to go back visible now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Um, you, you, uh, you, you kind of hold your arm up, and but he's he's running so so fast that um, that he, that he, and it's kind of a bit erratic. And rather than where where your arm is, he kind of piles straight into you, and you hit the floor with a gasp. <coughs> and um, roll a, a d6. Sorry, d4. Mm. Two. And mark experience. You take two stun damage as you as you land up, as he lands on top of you, and he, there's a look of fear in his face, but then. It kind of gets mixed with surprise as he looks down on where nobody was before. Suddenly, there's a there's a thief lying underneath him, or a, a human lying underneath him, and he kind of he screams and, and, and kind of leaps off you and starts running again. <laughs> <coughs> um, okay. Can I get up and just chase after him? Try and rugby tackle him, bring him down. What are you trying to do? Stop him getting up the stairs. I thought you were trying to get out. I know, I know but I thought I'd be heroic. <laughs> at, at, which, at which point, at which point, a um, a uh, a familiar-looking or still um, come into the room? Can you still hear me? It yes. Yeah. yeah, cut out a little bit, yeah. but we can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, She says, in a very in a very commanding tone, "What the devil is going on?" Hmm. And she's I jump onto her head. <laughs> oh, you're still in the the room, aren't you? Yeah, well, I was. Yeah, so you'll need to get out of the room before you can jump onto her head. We can cut back to you. What what do you do? Uh, me? No, sorry, Barry. You were in the. <coughs> you, you were. I'm you were. Got around the ceiling, around the crevices, find any cracks I can, get through the doorway. Okay, you can do that without issue. The guys have, have lost you. Okay, right. and you and you land in her hair. I'd like to. Okay, you can do that without issue. And she's she's looking at you, um, weasel. What All is right. going on? I'll I'll get up and dust myself off, and I'll say, and I point to the guy who's who I've just run into, and I'll say, this man, this man, dragged me in here just now. I was walking past. He grabbed me and he's dragged me in here. He's he's running up the stairs. There he goes. Quick, stop him. Um, um, Erga, what do you do? Um, he's gone into the house. I, yeah. I guess I'll go uh, through the door and try to hold the door open in case they come out. So, so you're at the gates. I'm at the gates. I'll go to the door. Yeah. Oh, so you're going to the house, the door of the house. Exactly. Okay. Um. She says, uh, Bernard has never dragged a, a person into this building in his life, and I've known him for 30 years. Now, ex please explain to me what this commotion is. Well, I've already I, I know what it is. I, I, I'm, I'm, po I'm positive. And she says, she calls, Eric, Simon, come here. Two of the men from the room come down. 
at this point, I'd like to just gently walk down onto her face. <laughs> okay. She tries to slap you. Roll her uh, defy danger. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Crunch. Roll her D6. You did. <laughs> <laughs> you take one damage. Mm -hmm. And she, she throws you throws the spider to the floor. Can I attempt to hold on with my butt web? <laughs> uh, you, you, um, if you do, you will, I believe, have used both of your holds and you'll turn back into a halfling. Oh. But you can do. Mm. No, let's go for the shock factor. Okay. I'm going to spin round her as I turn back into my halfling self. And be like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she she seems undisturbed, un, unperturbed. She says, "Simon, Eric, check my jewelry box." Can I run at this point? <laughs> I was say, I'm going to make a run for it. <coughs> Solid plan. <laughs> uh, and as as you try to run, she snaps her fingers. And you, uh, you feel your muscles freeze. <sighs> oh no! What on earth is going on here? And she, um, <coughs> and um, Durga. By the way, you as well. Okay. <laughs> and. Uh, sh brief, shortly, um, um, you uh, sorry, uh, yeah. So um, the 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 the, the uh, Simon and Eric come down with the jewelry box, and she's she she's like, ah, as I thought. That my my vagabond son sent my vagabond nephew sent, uh, sent you, didn't he, to to, to steal money? He was here begging yesterday. Am I am I coming around the corner uh, back to towards uh, Durga at this point? Uh, are you so? Oh, so you're gonna try and go in the house? Well, I was slowly getting back towards the the front yeah, when I saw the people leave from the window. Yep, you can you, you, you can do that. Oh, and he, he just simply, he simply stood at the door. And like, Doug, what's happening? And and as you say that, you hear another crack. And uh, and um, then she sort of waves her hand gently to one side, and you, know, Durga and and uh, <coughs> Perio, you kind of swept into the room. Who is Durga? Is? Both of you, me as well. Even though I was yep. way outside. Okay. If you if you if you're whispering to him, he was by the door. Uh, okay, yeah, so I thought he was. Attempting. I thought he was at the gate. No, he was at the at the doorway. Okay, but, uh, it's up to you. Well, in that case, uh, if I see that he's not there, I would have peeked inside the gate to see what's happening, and then I would have seen him, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what would he be looking like? Can I tell that he's frozen? Um, discern realities. Okay. I guess not. <laughs> no. I get an XP. Yep. Then I would probably whisper to him, "What's happening?" Okay. Yeah. That's when you're swept into the room. Okay. She 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 snaps at you. Did, uh, what about about her son, about a nephew, and then she 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 points at you all. Kind of wipes, swipes a finger at you, and you feel like your throat muscles unlock, like you could speak now. I was like, "What is what is happening here?" You're answering my questions. Did my son send you to steal the jewelry? Who? My 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 nephew. I think of him as a son, um, even though now he, he's let me down. Ma'am, I was just passing by the street. I don't even know who you are. 
don't lie to me. She clicks her fingers and you're silenced and she points at another at, um, at Weasel. You! I saw you first. Answer my questions. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who you're... Uh... Then, then in, you can speak to the City Watch. you rot in jail for breaking into my house. Hmm. All right. Yes, your uh, your nephew sent us. <laughs> <laughs> he said that old bitch won't give me any money, <laughs> and I want you to go in there and steal some because it's rightfully his. <clears throat> oh, the, the misguided fool! Hmm. So you see, we're only doing what we were told. Terribly sorry. Can we all speak, yeah. or, or just? It, it, are you trying to speak? Yeah. She sees you're you, you're bulging, and she she looks thinks about it for a minute, and then she clicks her fingers, looks at you, and you can speak again. Okay, I, I'm trying to get closer to her. Uh, you can't move. Oh, I can't move. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, yes. Um, we're. Terribly sorry, to be honest. Uh, we're, we're just trying to make a coin to, to make a living. And, uh, Indeed. He, and he had said that the house would have been empty, was going to be empty, so we wanted to make sure we wouldn't hurt anyone. Yeah. Clearly, we've all been fooled. Indeed. Yeah, he said the jewels were his. Well, the jewels are not his. Jonathan is a, a wastrel idiot, although I do love him dearly. And that, that trollop that he hangs around with has been bleeding him dry. He doesn't have a penny to rub together. Having said that, I've heard of his, this ridiculous plan to, to, uh, to free his... Um, Free this woman. Hmm. Are you talking about Isabel? Yes. Isabel, Bunny, whatever she chooses to call herself. <laughs> Strumpet. Yeah, I get the feeling you don't approve of her. What she, she, just, she just wants him for the money. But he, after, he won't. She's after the inheritance. Uh -huh. We'd heard he, that she'd been uh, kidnapped. Well, I'm sure that the, 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 these kidnappers have got wind of uh, Jonathan, uh, Jonathan's relationship and they're trying to gouge him for money, but he's spent it all. Well, it's funny you say that, because between you and me, I think he wanted us to come in here and steal the jewels to pay for a ransom for yes, her. Yes, well, now I have my options. Do I turn you over to the city guard, or do I leave and leave Jonathan alone, or...? Do I think of a way that you can pay back for this crime that you've committed? Oh, definitely yes. the second one. <laughs> I believe so. Um, and will... Durga. <coughs> I forgot my own name. Yeah, Durga. <laughs> <laughs> trying to say Durgar. Um, uh, we'll try to speak up. Can he? Yep. No sexual favors, please. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre was like, oh, really? <laughs> she, she look, the, the dowager looks at you and says, oh, I do not believe that you would be man enough to satisfy me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I try and speak up at this point. Yeah. Uh, uh, she's not a halfling, is she? She's not. She's human. Uh, uh, and I say to her, I... Uh, obviously can help you with uh, your advancement in this city. Locking us up would not be the, uh, the best of plans. And I, and I push my messy hair out of my eyes. You, you can't push. You, you're kind of, you can speak, but you can't. You I, I look like I'm trying to, to shift my messy hair out of my eyes. She's like, I think I've proved my, um, uh, my power. If I release you, I expect no, sh no shenanigans. I will not suffer uh, any more of this um, 
Your power stupidity. hasn't got you that far in this town, I see. She clicks, she clicks her fingers, and you're, you're silenced again. <laughs> <laughs> just him? She, 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 yeah, just him. Okay. She stares at you. Do you have more to say? No, oh. I didn't think so. <laughs> I stare at her with my wild eyes. <laughs> Anybody else? Are we going to behave like good little children? Why, yes, of course, and you have proven yes. your well, arcane while I talents. You, while I offer you a redemption, she, she stares at you again, looks, at, looks into your eyes, sees whether she's getting contempt or... It's contempt. Oh, yeah. no, no, it's not contempt. It's, <laughs> I'm trying to help her. Look. <laughs> she, she clicks her fingers again, and you're all released. And she says, we shall take tea in the parlour. And then she... You hear, um, but but this kind of, um, you know, a footman moving around, and she sweeps into the room. She says, "Yes, I've heard of his ridiculous plan to um, release money with this this ransom. Well, I think we know he doesn't have the ransom money, but he is a dear, even if he is an idiot. And um, I um, believe that." Uh, you, although somewhat incompetent, will um, be capable of, uh, of protecting him. So I expect you to fulfil your part of the bargain. Do not let him know that uh, you've uh, made yourself aware of the situation. We would not like to <coughs> crush his, uh, his ego anymore. Um, and if you manage this and Jonathan returns unharmed, then I will forgive you the situation. Of course, you will return my jewellery. You are and, most generous. Um, and if I, I look, as she says that, I look around at the other three to see, to you know, making it look like I'm not sure where her jewellery is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And if, if by the end of this um, uh, expedition. The um, young Jonathan, Jackie, has, um, jo young Jonathan, has uh, seen the error of his ways with this ridiculous woman. Then, then I may find an item from that jewelry box, and you may have it as a token of my gratitude. But if a hair on Jonathan's head is harmed, it will be paid out on each of you. You are very Seems generous. like a win-win. And I, I might even add, perhaps we can help you even further. Um, but we, we can accomplish this task you've just described. But I'm sure you've noticed. But I could lure this woman into my own charms. I <laughs> said with a wink. This Isabel. So she... Yes, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> now, my jewellery. <laughs> Who is she looking at? She just she just says it. She doesn't look at anybody in particular. I look at Weasel. <laughs> I turn my pockets out, and there's and to show there's nothing in them. She says, "Now would be good. We wouldn't like this to be unpleasant." Barry? Can Barry speak now or not? Oh, <laughs> she, uh, she's, 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 she's released you all, I think. You're all on the yeah, Barry is suspiciously quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Barry. Barry. Yeah? What? Give her back the jewels. The jewels. The jewels. I thought you took the jewels. No, they're in your pocket. <laughs> I don't think so. And I turn out my left pocket. My left pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I she, make. She, I make. She sighs and she says, "I become. I'm becoming impatient now." I'm gonna do prestidigitation to make his pocket really, really hot. The other one. <laughs> Can I do that? Um, don't know. That's the, what the spell says. Let's see, it says I can turn things hot, so let me see. Okay, go for it. Cast a spell. 
Oh, yeah, it's not really hot, it's warm. I'm gonna make it glow, can I do that? <laughs> okay, yeah. Go for it. Uh, where's that? Ooh. Okay. There's a there's a suddenly um berry you feel that you just look down and there's a huge there's a glowing thing from your pocket. Your other pocket. <coughs> and everybody's staring at you. Oh, somebody's dropped out. I say all this. Uh, I, I immediately drop all the bottom of the uh, the things drop out of the bottom of my trousers. Now, how did they get in there? <laughs> I'm just a small spider. What what is this? I'm <laughs> just a small. <laughs> and and she 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 sighs and and waves her hand and the the the, the jewelry um, floats to a table by her side and then. A, a ring flies out of your pocket. Was that was that a ring that, that you, was in the jewelry box? The, the, the ring that you left <laughs> there <laughs> flies out, <laughs> lands on the table. Yes, that's uh, that's very good. Now, I saw I saw that I, I I immediately changed the subject and start talking about the different types of flowers that she's had got in her uh, <laughs> in, in her garden. She's, as you start to talk, she she um, waggles a finger and a bell rings, and um, one of the uh, one of the one of the footmen comes in and she says, "Please follow Simon. He's a good man and thorough. He'll show you to the uh, to the gates." Does he look scary? Um, well, they all look kind of fairly solid and imposing. I say we just follow him. Oh yeah, I'm totally on board told. That. Yeah, she seems a bit uh, powerful. Very. Okay. I, uh, I I mentioned <coughs> her. Uh, we'll keep her nephew or her son in uh, in good hands. Okay. Um. I. <laughs> um. What do you want to do? Because I mean, I can do like a half an hour condensed version. <laughs> or we could leave it here and have a session two. I'm all up for leaving it here. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's I feel, like we've, fi I feel like we've finished a, a bit. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. That yeah, means, that's a big good point to have a break. Let's not rush anything, yeah. Yeah. I'm enjoying okay. this. We'll, we'll set up a session two and maybe session cool. two or three and, and, and do it in, you know, not push it, push it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I thought that I was. I did. That was good. Fun, yeah. good. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry if, um, if Nero didn't get such a look in and something at least the Oh no, that was oh. fine. It's, it's a good intro to to the to the game. It was fun. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you. Thank you. All right. yeah, it was fun. Looking forward to session two now. Yeah. All right. I'll uh, I'll try I'll... and pay attention if I said I do this time. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, I'm not well we'll have to sort out what it I will put a put a doom together. Put a doom together. Cool. All right. Super. All right. Glad you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, have a nice weekend. And um, up sweets and uh, come on England. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. Ah, ah, cool. See Thanks you. a lot. Right. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye. 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 Bye.